it complements the flavor perfectly. And it's so weird because it's nothing like any other cuisine. It really isn't. It, I can't even tell you another cuisine that tastes like that. But it's, it's so good. And you, you know, what I like about Mediterranean food is usually when you get it, you get such a good variety of stuff. Like I got something that came with hummus and pitas. You dip the pitas in the hummus, and that was delicious. Robust. Insanely flavorful chicken. It's not dry. It's freaking robust. robust. Give me this dipping sauce. It's garlic infused dipping sauce. Robust. Um, I will tell you guys, is thus. Oh, you heard me slurping, huh? They give their rice, which is the seasoned rice. The taste tastes again. It tastes kind of different from. Bro, other I'm so cultures. not ready to start this game. I don't know why I started. Peas and carrots. Have so much. It's also to got do. this unique seasoning in it that's really good. And uh, and then also a side salad, which was like lettuce, tomato. Wow, the camera is off, but it's wrong. Insanely flavorful chicken. It's not dry. It's freaking robust. robust. Give me this dipping sauce. But it's garlic infused dipping the garlic sauce. Garlic infused. Um, I will tell you guys is thus. We went and got dinner. Now, this was a double-edged sword. I don't know why the video clipped out the end. I'm gonna show you what the end was. Actually, let's first, um, yeah. Let's go play some, some Quiplash with King Jet. Oh, we actually started. Wow, this is so cool. That wasn't supposed it to be streaming until like perfectly. in half an hour. And it's so weird because there's nothing like any other. I got it here it on really my is. screen, and, and we can play like together. That. Wow, where did so Jasper's good. claws and go? You know, what I like about Mediterranean uh, food is the... you get it. What? You get such a good variety and of stuff. And like restart. Came with hummus and pitas. You dip the pitas in the hummus, uh, and that was delicious. Robust, insanely flavorful right chicken. Back. It's not dry. It's freaking robust. Give me this dipping sauce. Garlic infused. Oh, this was supposed to be my answer. What the fuck? I fucked I'll tell up. you guys is thus. I bust, I bust. I bust. Wait, the auto tune is on. Oh yeah, it is. Oh rice. my god. The taste tastes again. It tastes kind of right, different from back. other cultural, other cultural rices. It has peas and carrots, but it's also got All right. this unique seasoning. I'm too big really to start good. streaming now. And uh, and Hold then on. also a uh, side it, salad. Go to the link in like chat lettuce, in, tomato, in play Quiplash, please. Bust, it's fun. Insanely flavorful. That's the right way. It's not dry. It's freaking bust. Yeah, that's the right thing. Sauce, it's garlic infused dipping sauce. I bust. Um, I will tell you guys, guys, it's thus. I bust. I bust. I bust. Uh, let me play something else, and I'm Delete gonna go for a little bit. I'll be back in a second, okay? Consider this to be the intro still. We're still having an intro. Travesty having me, then he told the people you could call me your majesty. Keep your battery charged, you know it won't stick, yo. And it's not his fault, you kick slow. Should've let your trick hold, chick holds a sick glow. Plus, nobody couldn't do nothing once he let the brick go. And you know, I know that's a bunch of snow. The beat is so butter, peep the slow cutter as he uttered a calm flow. Don't talk about my mom, yo. Sometimes he rhyme quick, sometimes he rhyme slow, or vice versa. Whip up a slice of nice verse pie, hit it on the first try, villain, the worst guy, spot hot tracks, like spot a pair, fat asses, shots to the skies from out the square shot glasses, and he won't stop till he got the masses, to show him what they know not to flows of hot molasses, do it like the robot to head spin to boogaloo, took a few minutes to convince the average boogaboo, it's ugly, like look at you, it's a damn shame, just remember all caps when you spell the man name. No, 
it like a poet, like baby doll. I bet she tried to say she gave me her all. She played ball. All bets off. The villain got the dice rig. And they say he accosted the man with the slice wig. Allegedly, the investigation is still ongoing. In this investigation, he got the best con flowing. The pot doubles. Now they really got troubles. Mad man never go like snot bubbles. It'll make you more slower And brought back a long list of fakers who crossed over I'm like a fucking bubble baller Catch him up in Bob's show Stall him with a trouble caller Bastard, who can make G's faster Than a newly remastered while being truly blasted There's four sides to every story If these walls can talk, they probably still ignore me Contemplate war over a cup of warm coffee It's really getting gory Tell your problem to Maury Don't bore me with the glory, hallelujah Cruise me like fooey, it's all a bunch of hooey. I knew he had new G, who he, Victor Vaughn. He had a new sticker song, I think he called it Lick Upon, um, but uh, he studied rhymes and patterns. Climb so steep, so time to beat, don't be mad at it. Sounding like a half death and scurvy damn rock. The program computer by a craft to Herbie Hancock. Maybe next life, we try harder. Got a martyr at the hands of the fire starter. All scripts ripped available for vile barter. Transport stacked to the lab via charter. On the microphone, he came to days in the major. What a guy practiced banging flies with razors. And watch out for the robot, he got eyes with lasers. Tell him when they come with more topics besides blazers. Enough with the guns already. They all toys and lames. The joys in the aim. He asked him, how's the poison game? Do you bust your crossbow? Also, more so. Accurate body blows your torso. Thought so. These flows you won't find in no how to. If the black slipped out you, he smack the shit out you. Hey now, Kid Man is in the lead. I guess I need to go download it. When the on button switch, V bring the beef like a truck of the fud rucker. Delivery to all y'all motherfuckers and blood sucker. Cop them all, please, don't want to rap niggas, pick them on. Wait, that's very cool. And what's happening here? Let's uh, let's restream King Jab for a little bit. If you want to play, as you see on the screen, you can go on Jackbox.tv and enter the the code, and you can vote on the answers and stuff. All right, it's gonna be a lot of fun. Let's start off the stream like this. Round two is over. And restream him a little bit. Stream snipe him. Now this kid, the cars are so few of us, this could really, Round three, anyone could win, the last apart from your clash. cat. Everybody's getting the same prompt, so... Lurking. Anyone can win except me. This is not a DHP related question, it's fudged around, but that's not... Uh, I can't, okay, I can't okay. let's reconnect. I'm back, I'm back. So we've got to come up with an action for this. Just need to fix this on screen. C-A-L. C-A-L, okay, I'm playing. Let's come up with an action for this. Make it as funny as possible. Uh... Okay, I I need to fit it on a screen though, so I might even skip this one. Ah, there it is. Oh, it submitted by itself because I was uh, there's a delay. All right. Yeah, I'm it's not here. Three and you've got, got a shiny gold lunch. medal to award. Make your pick. Catherine already left. I mean, Catherine already left. I mean, he's like as a quality one. 
I can only pick. Actually, I can only pick my hands up because it's like so. Usually, you pick your three favorites. If it's a full game, you pick <laughs> these are good. Dancer, Come on, dancer, these are great. Bronze answer. Because okay, so welcome games, everybody. So, I mean, because also three of us answered. I can only pick one answer. Hold on, I'm so lost in the sauce today. So you get one answer <laughs> to pick. Your but favorite. it's gonna get better. Get that. You just need to buy it. Try and sway the vote or anything. But Catherine and Ray left is a pretty solid answer. That's a fantastic acronym for that. Well, I've got a new sub somehow from all this. Thank you very much, GCC Knuckles. For sub. The suspense is killing me. Let's see who got those medals. Okay, Stranger. let's change those medals into points. Stranger, I should almost point from that. I thought, I thought my bills answer was better personally. There we go. So that's the end that's of the first the game. End. Let's see the final scoreboard. We can play again, guys, and maybe we can get some more people involved. And Meerkat won't be an idol because well, they, they, they won't make a second game because of the game. My bills, congratulations on the first game. Well done, well done, well done. So. Okay, let's actually play a game. Let's play a game. All right, I'm gonna focus. I got my coffee here. I got everything prepared finally. Guys, if you want to play, the new code is XTMV. Okay, you know the drill. Jackbox. Dot TV. Code is XTMV. You know what it is. Oh, I don't have my soundboard up. Okay, that's up. We're actually playing the same TSP game in Quick Blash, which is good. Bloody hell, we're actually fucking people involved. Oh, I forgot to join, okay. Guys, one more person. The MV, that's me, that's me, the last one. There we go. I'm the one. I am the one. Yes! There we go. Come on, let's play a game and then we're gonna get to DSP because I need to uh I need to wake up. So thank you, Meerkat. Good luck this time, pal. We have a full complement of people involved. Yeah, I'm gonna be trash at this. Don't get too excited, I'm I'm really bad. But I'm gonna be answering in private, so we're just gonna watch what everybody says, right? Here's round one. Can do. Based on the of your answer. All right, if you want to vote, the the same drill. You go to the link and you put in the code. I'd rather be a something else than a DSP mod. Hmm. What else can you be? What else would you rather be? The DSP mod is the dream for everybody. Come on. Uh, I'd rather be a. Uh, All right, I sent mine in, and I have a second one. But I'm not gonna tell you which one it is, because that's gonna be a spoiler, you see? Okay, okay. We actually got a full party for this. Everybody's playing, that's pretty cool. And I have 45 seconds left. Or no, that's stuck. Alright, never mind. Let's keep playing. Yeah, it's the game volume down a touch on the bottom of the game volume, no problem. Thank you very much, that fantastic Mr. Sam. David Zephyr, how you doing? Alright, I send my answers in. Today we're gonna talk about uh, DSP's haircut. Congratulations, your cat, your in, in a very a annoying detail. I can hear me, yes, okay. It's hard to judge because it's just, I can't really hear the right, audio in my end properly compared to me. It's a, what is DSP's favorite song? TJ, XX, and XX scam songs, or Here Comes the Money. What is DSP's favorite song? So what What's is DSP's favorite, favorite song? song? You can go and oh, vote. But I'm gonna vote. Uh, TJ, Here Comes XX, the Money, it's, songs, a, uh, it's, it's a very money. DSP song. Here Comes the Money. I think one of those uh, edits that made him um, be in, in wrestling. I think one of those used the Here Comes the Money. Producers, read from sheets. 
Whoa, right. everybody voted for that. That's pretty dope. So Scared of a bunch of water and get out the rain. Order a wrapper for lunch, spit out the chain. Then kick a lungy off the tip of the There's too much, too much noise. Okay. An so LTG, is it mod? LTG mod or decod cat? Or Would a decod cat. LTG mod than the DSP mod or a decod cat than a DSP mod. All right, vote, oh, vote, Mr. vote, DSC. vote, vote. <laughs> well, you both had the same answer, and he had his in first. That's unlucky. That's so unlucky. You both went for money. <laughs> you both went for here comes the money. That's incredible. Miles, Misha, how you and doing? I win. Decode cat. Got there we the go. Answers. I Miles win. Went for Delta Insider answer. So there's not quite a quick flash, an overwhelming one. There's some there's points above, but it's still a lot of points in the board for mere cat. Well done, yeah. Mere cat. It's not for food. What will cat devour next in desperation? Oh. Is it a polystyrene container? What will cat devour or next? Or is it chin and gin and cherry just dash? Oh. Oh, the containers from answer. DoorDash. <laughs> what will Cat do our next Cat is gonna eat the, the containers. The containers from DoorDash or Phil's gin and cherry just the Fucking containers, dude. Come on, what else can it be? He wouldn't devour the no, gin and cherry though. juice, because that's, uh, that's for drinking. Up. I'm in this one. I'm against Stranger. And I get, I win it 4 to 2. And the audience went 1 each as well. Yeah, so King Jad won this me. one. So. I get more points than Stranger there, but he still gets 380 points even though he didn't have as many votes. So it's points in the board for both of us. DHP gets Jasper, Playmate, and calls it. Flood? Or Cat? Flood? Flood? -D -D or Cat? Get a Playmate. If, if DSP gets cat, Jasper, a Playmate. Jasper because she's usually the and one calls it Flood? Jasper, or which, cat. Is home, which is all the time now. <laughs> what is Look, Flood? I don't know what flood yeah, means. Yeah, I'm gonna call him a flood. Like an abbreviation, it's like glow gang. GLO. Oh, is that is it a spray bottle? Is, is this one of those things where it's a brand thing that is like local to America? King Dad doesn't get it as well. I, I don't get it either. What FLUDD was. Every good big tweet this is a uh, King Jed VCMP guys, stream. I'm restreaming him right now, and we'll, we're playing together. Oh, please tip support. I uh, put the link in the chat. What oh, what is this the one? From Mario Sunshine. Every good big tweet has this. Uh, which one do you like more? I need to pay for my gacha addiction, or please tip in support. Gacha addiction, or please tip hmm. support. And I couldn't fucking vote because there was a delay. I need to Oof. stop looking at that clock. That's just it. Ooh, I win overwhelmingly. I guess and he wins again. Win, 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 no matter what. It's like DJ Khaled. I'm sorry, Mr. D, I feel the way sorry, Mr. Khaled. That's twice you've had zero points from your answers. I'm so sorry, Mr. D. Moving on. In the past, the Mayans were told that DSP would be known as Hikroch, or the one who receives without working. Receives was spelt wrong there, but uh, we still understand what it means, so it's okay. <laughs> the Mayans for all. The, one who receives the DSP working. would be known as what? Pick your favorite answer now. DSP would be known as what? The one. <laughs> the one. That's what they talk about in, in Legends. Legends say that the one will arrive one day. Stranger's answer there is the Collect all favorites. the tips that are rightfully his. Then my hands spoke English. <laughs> Come on, I, I was the only one who voted that was a for. That's a good one. That's a great answer. The, the, the pig rock. Let's say DSP is set fifty thousand dollars to box on a YouTuber. Which YouTuber would Phil possibly defeat in the boxing match? Ryan's World or Ricky Barrett? Ryan's I think World. Ricky would fucking up to this. No, Ryan's handle. World, a, a literal child. Uh, yeah, I I know who Just I'm voting for in this one. Just up in some of these YouTubers. He's got my back. I don't know. I need to educate myself on who Ryan's Come World on, is. Ryan's World is, is literally a child, and Ricky Berwick is a, is a disabled person. Oh, it's a oh, tie. Oh wow, this one is but a split. The audience split. it for Ryan's World. What about the I'm audience? Say that well done. Yeah, the big up for Ryan's World. <laughs> An actual child. Okay, next one. If DSP could get a job, he'd become fired again. Or redundant. So, so, so that's incredible. I mean. 
You guys, what was up? Oh, for God's sake, the... <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, just, uh, Jesus Christ, man. He's kind of went the same way in that one. Have all redundant redundancy means you get some money, don't you? Still, huh? depending on how long you've been there. Huh? How does Fardigan that make any sense? Could be how? more shameful. I think Fardigan may Let's see who wins this one. Oh my god, this was mine. Yeah. I won. Fardigan sounds better yeah. than redundant. Even though it's a bit, they're both Total good answers domination. and redundant. clever as well. Mr. Sam. Absolute domination. Yeah, Meerkat nailed it. But Absolutely eradicated everybody. This is like a PvP segment. It's you know. So yeah, that's a, that's a good one, Meerkat. So. Hey, that was round one. Who's winning after the first round? Guess Meerkat's cool. winning. Baller alert, I'm calling saying. out Baller alert. Got no problems with Baller alert, with everybody on Baller Meerkat alert and anybody else out there talking shit about me. Here we go. And yeah, he's playing this game with us because I'm at the mask. Trying to get a game going right before the stream. Okay, Oops. I got a question now, but I can't tell you which one. But guys, you know, 90 it's seconds to answer two questions again. So, go for it. Okay, this is the audience play along is the best news you could get today. Which I don't even know if that's a question, I guess. I guess you get to submit something. But I don't know because I'm not in the audience. <laughs> These songs are bangers by the way the the songs from the from the game and the different games have different songs, you see? Very interesting. Hey, by the way, today we have a podcast. We're uh, going live with X Mortis. And we're gonna talk about the beggar's journey, so make sure you, you show up. Or you watch it later, or, or whatever. You can't. No pressure, pal, but you're eight seconds. I'm seven. trying, I'm trying. You can't. I'm it's trying. Time. You're winning as well. I'm trying. I bad. couldn't. I literally oh, couldn't. Oh, Mirkai didn't answer in time. No, come yeah, on, I was trying. <laughs> and you but I was also plugging the fucking floor. podcast. Okay, Derek's porn done. tweets or patchy goat tweets. <laughs> this is what I'm saying though, Mirkai has a stream to set up and it starts in five minutes time. <laughs> but I had a feeling this might happen with Mirkai, to be honest, you know. I'm glad he's here at the same time, but I had a feeling he was going to push himself for time. I'm surprised he played the second game. <laughs> Bro, I'm literally watching you. So, a new mod to DSP has a fetish for Derek's porn tweets or Patchy Goatees. Patchy Goatees with most of the answers. Yes. And there's Meerkat as well. Mew there Cat we go. The first answer on. There we go. to get a second one, I guess. Look, when I, when I actually play, I win. So you, you know, Meerkat's a bit <laughs> I don't play me, unless I'm going to win. I knew I wasn't going to win that one. What really happened to Pandalese hamsters? Pass a saw sweetener? Or DSP sat on them? Yeah, hey, I get to vote on this one. What happened to the hamsters, by the way? Like, like actually, a, for real. That's a pretty dark answer. DSP sat on them. Not a terrible way to go. Seen those gout ridden buttocks coming towards you slowly but surely. Oh, DSP sat them during your Kuta stream as a favorite answer. Uh, that one was that pretty dark, man. Uh, they just died of neglect. Well done, for that answer. They didn't get fed or something. Your next prompt is. When the DSP was, the was working too hard. Before discovering DoorDash, or cooked, has she ever? Choose I don't even know what to vote about now. that. Last when was the last time? Cooked. Probably when they got fucking Before married. Before discovering DoorDash, or cooked, has she ever? Ever since they got married, there's no point in, uh, in cooking. Dude, come on, they're married already. Oh, is Ryan's world a kid? Yeah, Ryan's world is, is like literally 10 years old. Right, then. Probably not I mean, literally 10 years old, but she's a kid. 64, technically. After the audience votes from that one. But we still get good points each, to be fair. We still get points, both of us, so there we go. 
You work for DoorDash and find out you have to order the ESP. What extra surprise do you leave with the order? A one door tip? He, he really needs that money, he really does. Or a half ass chicken sandwich? Both are extremely good answers. You're gonna give Both him a tip? Wait, you're the, you're the DoorDash driver and you're gonna give a DSP a tip? Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm buying into that, that idea. The Begging reference and the Burger King reference. <laughs> They're both good to try to memes. How do you pick a favorite? My bills against stranger here. My bills wins, but the crowd, the crowd sway it for him. Whoa, the, the audience crowd went for a half ass chicken on. sandwich, on, and crowd. so it went from four to one to five to four in stranger's favor. Oh, it's just one guy in the crowd. That's incredible. You, you have all the power right now. Right now. As a content creator on YouTube. Sorry, a content creator on YouTube. Gamblerstate.com or reacting to this game. What is the rock Baron, bottom? Nobody knew it was you had done the answer. It's only revealed once all the votes are in. Nobody knew it was you. I'm sorry, pal. Uh, if he was gambling live, that would be fun as hell, yeah, man. To this game. That would That's be so fucking fun. He begs for a specific fund of tips that he's gonna gamble away. That would be amazing. Hey, Mr. E got some points. And Meerkat's actually still here, voting. I thought that sandwich was too busy. Okay, I had a more respect for if he gambled on stream. Same. After a second brutal bankruptcy, DSP is I forced couldn't. to live in. I couldn't. Backyard. What I couldn't. That's in a the rewarding to answer from Knuckles. <laughs> Well, you get to win. And Mirka couldn't answer that one I in time, sadly. Oh, well, if I get, as I said, he is busy setting up a stream. So, yeah. Real reason why DSP was desperately to connect it. You got jealous of Howard Rambo or Mama Barnell's haircuts weren't awful enough. The real reason oh, God, why he was saga. desperate to leave Connecticut. Mama so, Barnell's the real reason haircut. why DSP was desperate to leave Connecticut. Jealousy mm -hmm. over Howard Rambo or the haircuts his mama gave yeah, him were not awful Rambo enough. And I like how the, the narrative in the end is that. Howard was just a random asshole who who took away his best friend. Howard, you weren't even a, my friend. What the fuck? Why are you so angry? Speech, but the audience goes with my bills. Oh, come on. My bills beats me thanks to the audience, sir. Mama well done. Bernal's haircut. Bill's next Halloween outfit will be his next Halloween Arlo outfit. again, or paid for by his audience, but still shit. Arlo? He dress up What's as your Arlo? Answer now? I'm very confused right now. Oh, we have a daily rap to watch. That's gonna be very interesting. I think he's been uh, surviving. I think he's been getting by. That's the overwhelming favorite. Yeah, what the fuck is Arlo, though? Okay, okay. Well done, Mr. Sam. Fantastic yeah, answer. Yeah, super quip, Lash. Big ups, Mr. Sam. That's the end of round two. This is the final round, okay. and then... Well, well, basically, after that, the stream is going to end. But okay. It should be direct people. Knuckles is, went in the head by over a, almost a thousand points. Knuckles is in the head. Why are you gonna end the stream with like this eight is the third people round. still playing? But here's the deal, after this third round, and the game's over, I assume Meerkat's live, technically. Meerkat, are you live yet? Because this should redirect people to Meerkat's stream. <laughs> okay. Come up with a romantic comedy. Romantic film, romantic comedy. Title, Fudge. Fudge? What the fuck, man? The romantic comedy film with this word in the title. Oh my god, romantic comedy. Uh, Good luck everyone making this DSP to somehow, but come up with a romantic comedy film with this one in the title, Fudge. Okay, I submitted mine. And it's gonna win because, uh, because it's godlike. But you can't know what it is, right? Because spoilers and stuff. Everyone hates me. It's been tough. You know, my life has been tough over the last decade. Yeah. There's eight seconds oh, left. Oh, and he changed his name on Twitter. Twitter. DSP changed his name on Twitter to, uh, what was it? DSP the Enduring? Yeah. So it's, uh, it's not very bright. 
Nikki Avocado, Fudgeon's Cat Enthusiast, Two Girls One Fudge, Fudgeon's Seattle, Is That a Shitty Dig or Did I Drop the Fudge? DSP and Rambles Fudge Factory, Phil's Love the Fudge, Phil's Love the Fudge, The Goutening, or the, the Liquidity of Our Relationship. That one doesn't have fudge in it. <laughs> The last one does not have fudge in it at all. So pick your three favourites, guys. The first one you pick is a gold, the second is a silver. Nobody made a, a reference about pick your three packing favorites. fudge. Come on. And I'm giving away my bronze to somebody. And that's it. Now we're going to see the results. It's going to be super exciting. I'll pick my ones. So pick your three favourites, guys. You've got three of them to pick, up, pick overall. Um, this could still determine who wins. Even though Knuckles is like a thousand points ahead almost. Hey, there's three people in the audience now. That makes it all more all right, intense. You have a real Bronze. vote now. You have all the power. There's some bronze there. And gold. Now we Knuckles done very well that Knuckles has won this. And Knuckles has won this convincingly. Overwhelmingly. But hey, we're all getting points at the end here. Yeah, I got 3k. So That's not bad. Answers to an extent was basically third. Let's see the final scores, guys. It's a baller alert That's right here. Let's see the finals, come on. I gotta be in top Tomasto. three. Oh, I dropped down. Yes, yeah, I'm on top three. Almost 10,000 points. Almost 10,000 points of Knuckles. An incredible Knuckles, from Knuckles. What a legend. Out. Well done, Knuckles, for such an overwhelming and emphatic victory. And thank you everyone else for joining the game as well. First game was a uh, yeah, big up. First game the uh, uh, shit show. Like the the but, thing. Uh, yeah, or like guys, the uh, you all came up and turned up for the second game, which is fantastic. Yeah. Now I'm curious, is Meerkat streaming yet? Yes, I streamed this like, whole I, last I, game. I don't know what's happening because this is meant to live redirect people to Meerkat stream <laughs> once this is over. I want to make sure he's streaming first to make sure it works. You see what I'm, I'm lurking and I'm stalking when you least expect it. I'm lurking, I'm lurking, I'm lurking, I'm, I'm lurking. What's happening with Buddy Meerkat? <laughs> we gotta go now. find him. To find it right now, actually. Yeah, go. Come find me. Come on. Meerkat is live. I'm right? lurking. Okay, guys, I'm, I'm lurking. I'm here, right? lurking. I'm but lurking. You should get a prompt to get redirected to Meerkat's stream, okay? Okay, come so on. Thank come you very here. much, guys. Hope you enjoyed. That is going to be the end yeah, of the game. Yeah, we tried to set, set up this else. uh this redirect thing. That that's a thing apparently on YouTube. Now let's actually start the stream, okay? Let's actually do some some DSP shit, and we're gonna talk about DSP's fucking day off, and his haircut. But uh, let's first go on uh, on the Twitter, and see what he did on on the Twitter thing. All right, music is live. Uh. Twitter layout is live. Wow, camera. Fantastic. I look transparent again. Let's go to the Twitter thing. And let's see what, what we have here. Oh yeah, he had a, a nudity scene that he didn't enjoy. Look at him. And we can maybe see the clip of that. Then... Yeah, DSP the Resilient is his new name. Because he is amazing. Apparently we're gonna play Hitman 2 today, so I gotta go and download it, but I will do that in a second. Uh, let's first go and check out the They Call Me DSP side of Twitter. They Call Me DSP. DSP the Resilient. It is the one and only. The one and only. You can't clone me. DSP the resilient and we have an audio schedule. I don't know if anybody ever listens to those I remember the the most fun one is when he snorted <laughs> And it cut out and it was only the snort that was uh, in the audio schedule So yeah, oh and there's two seconds in this additionally. Yeah Is it a snort? Hey, a full any, day of streaming now. fun peace out a full day of streaming fun. Peace out. This is amazing. I should put this on the soundboard. A full day of streaming fun. Peace out. A full day of streaming fun. Peace out. <laughs> streaming fun. All right, there we go. And uh, we have some more tweets. This all this all of this shit just blends into one stream of consciousness that nobody cares about in just a bunch of fucking spam. And he played PlayStation, one, two, three platforms. 
in a wide variety of games. Very nice. And streaming fun. He's now DSP the Resilient, apparently. But that's the, the thing is that he puts those labels on himself. It's not other people calling him Resilient. People call him a cockroach. And he takes that and calls himself Resilient. Yeah, DSP. Sure. <laughs> now go, uh, I'm not gonna say you go. You stay here. I'm gonna go and we're gonna watch the daily rap. Daily rap. Uh, I probably need to look DSP because the daily rap isn't actually a show. Okay, there it is. Uh, goodbye to the four years Street Fighter rage. What? It's some stupid clickbait. Let's ju just see his, uh, his channel in general first. Let's see how's it been doing. Super healthy. It's basically the same shit. From all this talk of, of uh, people coming over from Reddit to make fun of him and stuff like that, all of his shit is, is still just like going on the same way. Nothing is getting more views, nothing is really going off. It's still kind of the same shit. Getting like 800 views in two days here, just spamming too many videos, just kind of the, the regular nonsense. And let's see what is what is this daily wrap, okay? Let's uh, let's buy into the clickbait. Hi, good evening, everyone. And good evening, everyone. Daily wrap for Friday. Oh yeah, we're gonna talk about the haircut later because there are dedicated clips about that. The seventeenth of June, twenty twenty-two. Fun day today for sure. A fun day today, today. I knew we were gonna be doing some stuff that was a little different. There was no real ongoing playthrough to continue today, and that was a good feeling because it gives us freedom to do stuff. <clears throat> on the pre-stream podcast, we basically covered all of the RPG news that had kind of happened in the last uh, day, including both the announcement of Dragon's Dogma 2 and a bunch of Final Fantasy announcements. So it was a pretty good po podcast in that regard. Um, and then we covered, you know, the schedule for the rest of the week. Right now, it's kind of up in the air, which we'll talk about in just a moment. On the first stream, it was PlayStation Plus Premium exploration Whoa. We played and it's the premium one too today, including games because so you know this guy is not gonna get the the normal one he's gonna get the premium one because he's a premium person <laughs> i mean literally people pay a subscription to his life just so he can keep existing and making fucking streams what do you think the one minute man tips are it's a subscription to fucking dsp resident evil director because if you stop paying up he's gonna disappear that is his his fear and keep escape <laughs> They're gonna and cancel the show. Dark Cloud. Breaking news. Dark Side Phil is canceled after 20 years. They decided to stop making it after the, the latest season. A little bit of God of War HD streamed over the PlayStation 3 streaming service. <clears throat> I think there was another one too. It's not jumping into my head right now. Everything we did. Oh, Toy Story 2, which people absolutely seem to love. They want me to continue with that playthrough apparently. Bro, nobody cares. Let's skip through this Because trash. it doesn't blend in with the environment. Just bitch about tips already, right. come on. But admittedly, the graphics weren't as crisp, I feel, as if you were playing the disc version or downloaded version. It was a little bit on the fuzzy side, I would say, with the graphics. Because you're streaming though, it? That collection, I believe, only played in 720p anyway. Because you're streaming it. 30th anniversary collection. For four Bro, when, when this guy starts talking about games, I completely just zone out. Years. And man, you can't fucking listen to him talk about gaming and just... just Fucking... has really really left something to be desired oh, just keep Sadly, going just on and no on other real substitute for this collection when it came to consoles there was no other console edition of these games that was viable that people were still actively playing or that was worth playing because i hate to say it ultra street fighter 2 on the switch was a broken piece of dog shit because it had unbalance with akuma and violent ken in it in ranked matches which made no sense Okay, okay. So he he was bad at the game and he lost a lot. Droves. We hit all the tips goals tonight. <laughs> oh, we hit everything. Awesome Come on. Feeling. So it's people saying, "Hey, just thanks for playing old school Street Fighter. It's a way that I got into it. I didn't even know about it till you started playing it." For me, it's nostalgic because that's what I used to do every Friday and Saturday night when I was growing up in arcades. I was going to arcades and playing. Oh my god! Now we're talking about his fucking childhood oh, again. Street Fighter Two in it, <laughs> plus a variety of other games. Oh. So we're gonna have fighting games continue on this, this dude week. lives and in his way, childhood that that's why movie. they call him a man child in depth, we'll talk more about that as we constantly talking it, about his time. fucking but nostalgia thank you to all of you who tuned in to my street fighter coverage for four years and what is this what was this like praying mantis way, pose look at this super super in depth we'll talk more about that <laughs> as we get closer to it in a week's time but thank you to all of you pray our hands to my street and then we do this then we do this what the fuck <laughs> coverage for four years 
For those who watch on demand every week, thank you. And eyes were really, locked in on the camera. Please, thank you. About me and my history with old school Street Fighter, the passion I had for those games. I hope it came through in the videos. I hope you really enjoyed them. And we're going to continue that in a new collection starting next week. All right, guys? <clears throat> awesome. So that was Friday. I still got four more streaming days this week. <laughs> what are we doing tomorrow oh on saturday it's another God. stream this guy this guy this guy where we'll be checking out even more this games guy. likely this time uh, i can't i can't let's go make fun of his fucking haircut i i just can't with this his raw content is is just unwatchable i cannot fucking believe it uh now we got here we got a couple of cool clips <laughs> we got the penny pinching on his day off and i watched most of these already because they're just great <laughs> and uh wait which one is about his haircut the anti-bullying fucking thing i think this one but this is like okay I'm, I'm just gonna recap it it starts off with some nonsense i think it was about his haircut no one else here is like oh phil's back this is cool and this oh yeah yeah this starts off with his haircut then it goes on to like a, a 10 minute stream of consciousness about Japan anti-bullying law and what means uh, slander and what means some other shit. And it's just him being smug about it for like 15 minutes. And then he gets salty at people making fun of his hair. Idiot is sitting here talking <laughs> about my haircut. Fuck off. You're a fucking idiot. You want to hear Yeah, by the way, look at this haircut. Okay, let's, let's begin back. right this now. Cool. And this idiot is sitting here talking about my haircut. Fuck off. You're a fucking idiot. Yeah, I'm gonna see the, the clip with Wings. Wings made fun of him for his haircut, because that's how bad it is. Here. Now, they, they got him, like, really fucked up in this one. I, I don't even know why. Let me just find the one where I uh, where I retweeted it. Look at this. They made him look like Forrest Gump. The, the fucking the fade on the side is terrible, and they got just a... A little bit of like a bowl cut going on in the back. I don't even know how to explain this. Oh, and here we got nudity in the other tab. But I didn't mean to open this. It's exactly like fucking Forrest Gump. Look at this. Oh my god, and that guy's supposed to be like... Exceptional. I mean, this guy's also is. So yeah, it's fucking terrible. Uh, let's, let's go to Wings. Yeah, Wings making fun of DSP's haircut. Wings... ESP haircut. Uh, yeah, there it is. It's a great one. <laughs> and he tried to be nice about it, and it was still a, it was still a diss. Make it 92 piece out. Thank you, Jim. Thank you. And this is a little bit of a waste of time now. Here, I think, is where it starts. And it's just lopsided. Look at this. And I know this is like mirrored, but even if it wasn't, it's still fucking lopsided. I'm 25. It's, it's a terrible haircut. And this dude spent how much on it? Was it like 60 bucks on a fucking haircut like that? It's terrible. DSP. And this is the stuff that he begs for. He begs for this so he can afford this. Oh my god. <laughs> and I'm wondering. To me, it looks like the right side shaved, and the left side is uneven. Lord have mercy Let's hope he moves his head. Is. Forest dump. <laughs> yeah, forest hey, dump. Big up to your man in London. Already. I can't believe it. Can you believe it? I can't believe it. It's a terrible <laughs> haircut, time, man. What the fuck? comes a power stroke. <clears throat> and my haircut what is bad too, but I did it myself. So a year. I mean, and it was free. And I didn't have to beg anybody for it. Power strokes have a lot of issues. There's only really been one good power stroke, which is the 7-2. And seven now two. we're talking about power How? stroke in which the uh, loss no, on No me. way did he pay a professional, you know, cosmetologist to yes. cut hair and be this uneven. <laughs> Starting with state of play. Oh, he wow. He's getting roasted showcase, like this Capcom, by wings. Uh, you know, Summer Game Fest. Pair that in with the quarry and the last, <laughs> like, week, week and a half went. Whoop. Just like that. Super fast. And, uh, man. Man. <laughs> it was a good time. Bro, how, is, now, how does everything DSP does have to be something that is worth making fun of? 
it's it's just such a guy like this everything he fucking does is ridiculous and and you just can't help yourself but make fun of it it's so fucking silly we are back oh i think kelly is gonna ridicule his haircut as well at some point <laughs> I'm excited. I hope you guys are too. All right. <clears throat> I don't know why people watch these shits. These are boring as fuck. Hey, Stevens. <laughs> yeah, right. Word negative about my haircut. I'm just going to ban you. The, the DSP <laughs> segments, they are boring as fuck. Wings, mm. they are boring as fuck. But Wing streams are also pretty boring as fuck. Honestly, when he plays games, he's uh, he's just the uh, power stroking. The whole thing is like, I would have just banned the word haircut right away. <laughs> and of course, Wings giving banning advice. Ban everybody who makes fun of my haircut in chat. I, I don't have a problem with his haircut. I mean, Phil has high moons. I mean, I have high moons. And a lot more boring than playing. But like, it just seems like whoever tried to fade his hair in, this side is longer than this side. And also, like, it's thicker on this side than it is this side. Is it though? I think it's kind of thin all I, over I don't the think place. I, I like Phil. I think Phil makes great content. What? But like, better day than a slower it, day. Come on, like, you oh. you like Phil, and he makes great content. Great content. Come on, Wings. You even you can't lie with this. Watching you this, you can't lie like that. He makes great content. Any of the time right. playing. Like watching this. How can you say this guy's just not stealing Phil's content? Corey, it was pretty much. Like he's support. giving he no kind of commentary over. I don't ever say it's a really slow night on a stream. It might turn people off. And he, we're Here's begging. And he's begging in this if clip. You matter of factly say it. Oh no, wants. this is an old clip. Okay, and it's a statement of fact. It's actually been a slow night or whatever when it comes to contributions. That's okay. But if it's a slow night and you say it and then you say it again and they say it again, it's obvious people are, are like angry. They're gonna get angry at you because they're gonna know that you're saying it because you expect something from your viewers yeah you do not every stream is going to be great not every stream is going to be chock full of content. yeah but you talk you about it too much streams if you are a, a streamer even if you're a full-time streamer you're gonna have and that's the thing with having a goal in general when you put a goal on this on the stream is something that you expect to get better but you also put effort into you know having good content so that can get better you know and dsp is just doing the same shit all over and over again Fine. Come on. <clears throat> this is a pretty vintage clip, but it's still the same begging. Sure what is he him. looking up? Because this is flip. I don't know. Uh, I'm not gonna pick <clears throat> it up. Two. Oh. There's a side profile here. Kelly, I'm a Lori and the last And he's like, showing her the, the haircut. Very nice. He's a great husband. Oh. Hey, come here, look at DSP's shitty ass haircut and in this terrible face he makes. This fucking face is so memeable. This is such a DSP face. Oh, the camera's on. There's a side profile here. And a side profile. This side profile is terrible. This is some somebody from, uh, you know, the, the good old uh, SS. Kelly is like literally in it's yoga pants and an oversized shirt. <laughs> it's terrible, Kelly come on. Kelly is not looking good. Kelly... <sighs> oh, he's saying it's Fiona and Shrek. I thought he was talking about uh, Fiona the car. That's disappointing. Did you? We, we had that one car you showed me that somebody wanted five grand for a '91 Escort. Yes. Bro, what the fuck are they talking about right now? <laughs> how, uh, how is this like? Do they forget that they're on a live stream and they should just try and talk about something that relates to what they're talking about? I mean, um, I get it. He's he's streaming all the time, so it's uh, at some point he kind of doesn't care what's on camera or not. But that's a thing with him that constantly do happens. I come stay and hang out with y'all. Hey, what's up, I Renee? Good morning. This is just a talk stream. You can hang out with us. All right, well, I'm gonna go get a chair. Even though go get two. Okay, let's oh. skip, skip, skip. <laughs> oh, and she's back. Cool. Okay. The weighted ball. I need to get 4,000 steps in. <laughs> but Wings also <laughs> said DSP. He I'm likes DSP and DSP too. makes great content. Great well. content well. is what yeah, he can. said. I, I, 
would say yeah. I think that's his wife did that, and she's maybe getting into cosmetology, and he was the guinea pig. I don't know. Because like, I don't see somebody paying professional money for that fade. Like, look, look, look her. Let's go back here to it. Make it full screen. Like you see right here. Listen. This is not like let, let's let's do this as a straight line for some metrics. That like there's a little there's a little triangle right there like you would a professional hey barber guys. would clean that up, right? This would be perfectly rounded as a regular barber. It wouldn't be like jagged like you see jags here comes <laughs> in there. So what if Cat takes made a this? Turn there. What if they they pocketed the the day off money and Cat did this instead herself, right? And he spent the money on uh, on polls. And then you see that there's a really defined know, line here. Because what if DSP lies to Cat about the money? What if he says he's getting uh, chargebacks or some shit? You know, I fade this in. Maybe so he like does. It, so you would see, you wouldn't see like a. But that's like just a, a random theory. In his head. It's a game theory. Like, like a professional barber would be able to do all those things. But sometimes people that are professional screw up. Did I ever tell you about the time I had bangs? Mm -mm. Ruined my whole eighth grade year. Okay. <laughs> I'm just what saying, like, amazing when I go to my barber, my shit made, he made me look right. They're just sitting there. Made me look right. Right, like what? Like, you have like no I, hair. I feel like he undercharges for the services he gives, like Jeez. a guitar. Because you have no hair, <laughs> wings. Depression, but I. Thanks for being a member. <laughs> oh wow, this is great. And this guy thinks that this guy has great content. Not not mimology, but uh Phil. Oh, okay, let's uh let's talk about cyberbullying. About a story that For I never thought bit. I would hear. It's it's so weird. So you guys know all about the amount of online harassment and things that I go through. You know, because you see it, right? You you're you're literally seeing it in the chat right now. Right? Like, I don't have to over exaggerate or anything. You guys see. Oh, uh, his hair is so obnoxious and it's lopsided. What? Look, when he looks, when he looks straight at the camera, this is him looking straight. He's just tilted to one side. He looks like a uh, Gary Oldman in The Fifth Element. It's the same kind of guy. Yeah, like, like this. <laughs> kind of like this. It's this like tilted alien guy, not alien, but like futuristic. What happens here on a daily basis with shitheads, <laughs> right? Okay, with shitheads. You see it firsthand. <clears throat> so, here's a news story. All right, you ready for this? I'm gonna read it word for word. From read it. Come on. The Telegraph. This Get it a over UK with. UK news service, but there's 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 articles about this all over the internet, but this is the one that I I liked. In Japan, listen to this. They have made insults punishable by up to a year in prison under a new cyberbullying law. <laughs> Look at how fucking smug he is about this. An online insult as mild as calling Japan. someone an idiot could fall under this new oh draconian no. legislation. DSP is going to jail. The bill giving new teeth to the existing penal code was passed by the Diet on Monday with anyone convicted of using abusive language to insult a person in a public setting, including online, now is facing an extended period behind bars or a fine of up to 300,000 yen. I think- I hate, I hate the way he looks at the camera just for, for absolutely no reason. Cause when you read like this, just read. You don't have to make weird eye contact for no reason. You're saying that's the equivalent. And I know he wants to emphasize on the points that it that he's reading and be like a little bit smug about it, because it's it's the point that he wants to prove, but it's also really annoying. 1839 pounds. Oh my god, that's a lot of fucking money. Okay, let's continue. Previously. There was a, a different law in place. Bust. Did he purposely get a haircut no one can stand looking at so he can introduce a hat goal? <laughs> Underscore cup hands that's, uh, that's rolling on the floor chest. laughing. That's probably Kat's idea. Because it, it's in Kat's best interest uh, for him to be as successful as possible so she can get more DoorDash. Of course. Um, a conviction for an online insult or accusation. And now we're going to fuck up your hair so, so they can pay you to look at the hat because you're going to look disgusting. 
Oh uh, yeah, Ken, that's an amazing idea. Blech. Not based on fact. Not based on fact. Oh, oh so we yeah. have to accentuate something here. Okay. If you're reporting things that can be corroborated as fact in a- <laughs> And he gets obnoxiously in detail about this very straightforward thing. That is very understandable what they meant. But he needs to explain what what does something being based in fact even mean? Court of law, it's not considered an online insult. But if you're just making shit up like to what? insult someone, <laughs> or you cannot factually <laughs> prove what you're stating okay it's considered an online insult am i going to jail okay. there you go I had to clarify no, you guys, somebody's at the door so previously a conviction for an online insult or accusation not based on fact could have led to a maximum prison term of 30 days or a fine of 61 pounds okay or 10,000 yen all right but there were calls to toughen up the law after a 22 22 year old reality tv star died by suicide two years ago this was actually a big story in the and and okay okay this is a this is a terrible segment and uh i'm actually gonna skip through it because it's him talking about somebody that got bullied to suicide and he does doesn't know anything about the story even though he starts saying this was actually a big story later on he says i actually don't know anything about this so yeah we get to skip this one to systematically start harassing her in real life it was and then he says i don't know about any of this. arguments with another cast member that everyone liked i don't know i didn't see the show so you i don't see, really I understand the anything. situation i don't understand the situation but he was telling you it was a big story and he, an he was explaining this for like two minutes based on fact but does that sponsor want to bother with me no and so there we go now we're talking about sponsors and why he can't get sponsors this is just the copium segment for 15 minutes if you're in livelihood that the troll should be in jail and he should get all the sponsors that he can handle which are ironically not many because he can't handle anything depends on being booked at shows and you can't get booked because of online bullies put him in jail you fucking idiot apparently DSP. got so bad you're gonna that put him in jail suicide. this is fucked up beyond belief okay this is fucked up now how long is it going to take him? Let's count the seconds from 455 when he was talking about somebody else committing suicide to making this about him. Let's count the seconds. OK, I'm going to run a, a stopwatch and see how long it's going to take him to make this about himself. OK, let's go. This is man you want to talk about. A situation that's a horrible situation because you could draw parallels to other things here in the states i mean a lot of people said when etika passed away a few years ago that even though you can't draw a direct correlation that's very possible that online bullying had a factor in how, why he also chose to take his own life um so people have been talking about this for many years and you know how is the wild west how is the internet allowed to be a wild west for this kind of stuff because if you think about it in real life this is can the... people get away with this shit is there bullying your monthly the internet is is the wild west segment being at school and shit yes but can someone systematically harass you in person physically no <laughs> i'll go to jail someone cannot come up to your face and well, start yeah. yelling in your face and start grabbing you and doing shit to you. they can't do that that's illegal yes you get it arrested, is right yes but online it just seems like it's online. You can fucking close the tab DSP. Websites like YouTube and Twitch take an attitude that's hands off. Well, we're not going to do anything about it because technically we don't want to get rolled up into any kind of legal aspect of anything. So if you think someone's bullying you with defamatory videos or, or saying nasty things on stream, you have the right to try to flag that. But then eventually what's going to happen is we're going to say, well, you're going to sue them for it because unless you are, we're not going to take their content down. That's that's the stance these places take, right? Um. So the question is, like, what do you do? Well, in Japan, for two years, there's been a giant well, camp. Actually, YouTube being the Wild West basically made his career what it is today, because YouTube being the Wild West allowed him to say all those racist shit and all these fucking man-child jokes that he got big with. And YouTube being what it was allowed him to be fucking swearing and begging and doing all that shit with, without any repercussions. So if the internet wasn't the Wild West, DSP would be doing something else right now. 
pain. But probably being really bad at it too. To do something and the law finally said, we're doing something. Now here's the problem, right? It's exactly what they said in this article is correct. The way that this law will be enforced is gonna be very interesting because, you know, it sounds very draconian. So basically anyone online who says someone's an idiot or insult someone in Japan that is by the way because obviously if you're outside of Japan you're not going to be subject to their local laws but yeah if you're living in Japan and you're saying stuff to someone online you could actually be fucking arrested because of this new law whoa okay what if you have a VPN how is that going to be enforced I'm sure there's what if you're calling somebody an asshole from like an internet cafe be about a billion people a day that insult people online and outside of that probably like you know at least a million people in japan who do it i'm pretty sure they're not going to start rounding up oh every God. single person they're going to start japan rounding up people someone an idiot yes. you know what i mean of course dsp um, of course flash. like back this, all right how this is just like a completely useless segment he just reads a fucking the headline of a news article and the the points that are going to be in the news article and then he speculates a bunch about random fucking shit. And then he made it about himself being harassed on the internet. You guys know how I'm being harassed. By the way, I forgot that stopwatch. It's been like four minutes since he, he mentioned the people suiciding himself. How about this? Fuck off. Fuck off. Everyone else here is like, oh, Phil's back. This is cool. And this idiot is sitting here talking about my haircut. Fuck off. Well, it's bad though. You're a fucking idiot. End of flashback. So how is this really going to be enforced? I don't know. Can it even is it even an enforceable law or maybe what it is not really they, they created it as a it's deterrent. a boomer law think about it this way no don't when there's think nothing about in it place, like that no, no it's stupid protections no, no law against it it literally is the wild west anyone could do whatever they want no consequences right but now if you're saying hey warning <clears throat> if you're harassing someone online and it's not based on fact. You're harassing them for bullying purposes or fucked up insults and defamation. We could come after you if we want. And if it gets to the point where I would like to see DSP try, you, we will I would, I would actually really like for DSP to think that he can sue somebody and then get broke. Lord have mercy, I'm about to You real what you so DSP. Because with, uh, with, with most of people's criticisms that are towards him, they are pretty much based on fact and there is some evidence to at least try and argue that they're fact like with him begging and people calling him a beggar with the champion stuff there is proof with the bank leaks there is proof with all that shit there is proof now obviously for some of the the bizarre stupid speculations with like one minute man and fucking aliens and illuminati and stuff that's that's nonsense but is he gonna go after those people just some random dude on reddit that said that uh, DSP is actually uh, super blind man's son or some shit. Come after you, what's gonna happen? Well, first of all, immediately, half the people doing it will quit because they're gonna be like, it's not worth my time. I'm not gonna risk going to jail over this, fuck this. You know, the days of, of being able to do this, you know, easily uh, are gone. Now, is it gonna get rid of all trolling? Fuck no. Here, what's gonna happen immediately? Those who wanna troll are gonna make dummy accounts, they're gonna use VPNs. You know what I'm saying? They're gonna do anything they can to hide their identity and they're gonna continue to do their activities. This is not going to end trolling, but it at least- I like also how he's talking about it like it's the mafia. Immediately will end half of the idiot <laughs> no-lifers who sit there doing it because they're not gonna wanna go out of their way to bother with all that shit. It's only gonna be the real hardcore losers. The real <laughs> hardcore losers. We're gonna go crazy to try to troll people now, okay? <laughs> the real hardcore losers they're not even afraid of the law they would troll by any means the ends justify the memes am i completely against this practice what practice putting people in jail See, here's my feeling i wish that i could say oh man i totally trust a government and it's not our government in the united states here this is the japanese government Okay. Bro, you don't tr I trust anybody. Come on. You're wish Phil. You could say, man. You're Phil. I definitely trust the government to do this properly, you know? <laughs> but in my experience, whenever a long sweeping law like this is brought into power, it's just botched horribly. And there's been many times over the course of... Is it maybe because uh, the government has a bunch of boomers in them that don't know what trolling means? maybe my my 
can you <laughs> the same people that ask the uh, zuckerberg if your phone can can track you and shit like that even though yeah obviously you're here as an internet content creator but that when hearing was States, uh, hilarious our own government tried to pass these sweeping laws oh bill nine points s.978 yeah the SP the hates was, bills. Or this or that. all these different things that were going to change the internet in which case everyone said listen if we trusted our government to do it properly maybe these bills would make sense but we don't every time our, our government does this they don't understand what the hell they're even trying to govern and then they just they botch it they don't even know what was it recently um i'm trying to remember during during Are a you... recent court case was it is this a knee slap Depp and amber her defamation case they didn't even understand in a court of law like the difference between an internet service provider and Twitter. Like, they didn't know the difference. Bro, you were explaining in the court of law on your bankruptcy fucking hearing about what PayPal is, and you got it fucking wrong. He was explaining PayPal as this, like, is this, uh, what was it? I don't remember, like, payment service or whatever he, he explained it as. I can go look it up. They thought that Twitter... It's like an online banking? Like, PayPal? It's my tips page. It's like tips. It's like charitable contributions. Like, uh... Like a charitable contributions? Uh, the company's name is Burnell Productions. There was an ISP. And they had to actually argue about it in court. Because they're so dumb and ignorant, they don't know the difference. They're so dumb. This is the people in charge. Okay? <laughs> the people who are making legal decisions. Don't know the difference between Twitter and an ISP. So can you imagine now you're giving them sweeping powers to enforce things over the internet when half of them don't even fucking know what the internet is? <laughs> you see? So there's a problem here. Bro, you literally rip off trends that are five to ten years old. You fucking boomer. <laughs> Making fun of other people who are way more successful and more, more educated about stuff. Yeah, they are fucking boomers, but they know way more than this asshole. Come on. And he also doesn't vote. That's right, Steve. He doesn't fucking vote. All right. It, these these sweeping... He makes fucking videos about trends that are 10 years old. Fucking reaction videos that get like a thousand views. And he's happy about it. And he's clapping his hands. And making thankful videos. And he makes fun of other people. That's why he's the fucking... The, the low-hanging fruit. Because I can think about anything about him. And just bring it up when he starts calling people fucking ignorant and morons and idiots. Any fucking thing. Would a smart person get out 14 credit cards, max them out? There we go. Draconian laws would work. Yeah, that's right? fucking idiot, moron, ignorant, pieces of fucking dog shit, man. Uh. Government had a brain, but our government isn't as smart. It's outdated. It moves at a snail's pace. And half the time, the laws that we're using to try to do anything are so outdated and don't apply to the things that we're doing on a day-to-day -day basis. You see? <clears throat> so, that being said, is it good that at least in Japan, they're trying to do something, something to stop internet harassment? Yes, it's a good thing that they're at least doing something. Something is better than nothing. Okay. At the same time, I don't know oh, if this DSP. law... DSP, when are you going to understand that these different websites, these different platforms, they're all independent services and companies that have their own policy of how to do deal with harassment and stuff. That's why you can say the, the Schwartz and Burnell on YouTube and nothing's going to happen. But you say Schwartz and Burnell on Twitch and you get suspended. That's why. And that's why the government can't fuck with this because it's independent companies. And they gotta pass fucking politic, uh, policies for all of them or some shit. I don't know. But I'm dumb and I'm high. And you have no excuse. You're supposed to be sober. Is the right and you're bringing it up. Approach, nor do I know if this will... Uh, I don't, I, again, I don't live in Japan. I know nothing yeah, about Japanese I government. know nothing about this. This is how long. Uh, after he started talking about this shit in like at the one, two minute mark... 15 minutes later, I don't know anything about this. I'd be the last person to comment on it. I don't, you know, maybe I'll have some viewers who are from Japan or have been in oh, Japan. Oh, yeah, now, now he needs somebody to handhold him for his uh, opinion. Do my research for me. Japanese government who will be able to comment on this. Yes, okay. comment on this. Um, Let's have a discussion. But for me, 
like i don't know i don't have faith that a big governmental body understands the internet well enough and what actually happens on it to stop this kind of shit like it, if this law were in effect during the time when this wrestler was being harassed would it have saved her life sadly it's too late right to know that um i would like to think at least it would have helped but at the same time bro you don't care about those maybe people would have missed the mark you don't like you no people are defined by what they do and you don't do stuff that make you seem like you care about other people and you only bring up those tragedies when you can make it about yourself and when you can make it so you can prove the point that you want to push that's the only time you care about people dying and tragedies and people committing suicides and stuff you really don't do actions which show that you care about those values and this is why when he goes on twitter and starts uh, cloud chasing and um tweeting at the president or some shit after a tragedy this is why it, it actually has no value in anything that he says because he hasn't really done anything to prove that he shares those values he actually has authority to say something on this matter it's just yet another npc opinion to add to the pile of uh, npc opinions i don't know but this is the first time ever in the world that something like this has happened with exception in india in india in dsp knows about there's india. very strict laws about what you can say about someone you can't even say facts about someone in india publicly oh he should that move to india you can't say anything about him this is the a mega cult situation even though he's probably wrong about this and the, the actual fact of the matter is something else could lead to the defamation of their character at all it's against the law yeah so if you there's a news story about someone committed a crime and you think it would make them look bad if you publish that story you actually broke the law <laughs> it's defamation over there <clears throat> so i don't know how that's going to you know apply to anything this is only in japan so obviously it only affects people in japan it's not going to ever affect people outside of japan so that would be like you know a law here in the u.s doesn't apply to someone international we, we talked about that a million times over the years right um Oh, and so he's dragging we'll it out. He's dragging it out so hard, man. Half of what he said, he shouldn't have said at all. It Battery. means nothing. That the, the sound box is just breaking after all. In the sound box, fucking broke. You need to get an actual like uh, Japanese areas. And if anyone an says anything, fuck you. Board. You're going to jail, yeah. motherfucker. All right. Obviously, I'm kidding. No. It's obviously, ridiculous. you're kidding. Not going anywhere. I love where I live. That would be amazing. Imagine we all went over there to Japan together and we started our own business, a co-op business. We do co Japanese content together and we're protected. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, he, he's literally pitching. He's pitching having a cult in Japan. That's very nice. But uh, people didn't buy in. Let's hear about him fucking penny pinching on his day off and eating fucking sushi. It's a he penny pinched so hard they went to a sushi restaurant. Cult of hate is exactly yeah. what it is. It's a cult of hate against me. And I'm not going to put up with that shit. Hate. First of all, thank you guys for all the support in the last month since the, the gifted memberships launched here on YouTube. We went from 300 some memberships to 630 was the record. All right, last call for the poll and uh, vote on the game you want to see. It's still Hitman 2 is in the lead with 37%, but you never know what's going to happen. And in a few minutes, I'm going to close it and run another poll for uh, which level to play on. That's going to be very interactive. All right. Sounds good. Let's uh, let's listen to this fucking asshole. We lost two memberships during my day off yesterday. And we However, dropped members. That initial gifted membership bomb, it was about 100 gifted initial memberships, bomb. is going to finally expire within a few days. I believe it's either going to be on the 17th. Or the 18th Yo, this guy for real is the scum of the earth. The scum of the earth. He cried so hard before the gifted memberships were a thing. So they could be a thing. Then they became a thing. And then he got a lot of them. You realize somebody spent a lot of money to make this sad sack of shit happy. And he got his money. And he spent his money. And then he was bitching about tips being low 
after he got 400 fucking dollars in memberships and now those memberships that he got the money from they're gonna expire so he wants more it never fucking ends with him it will always be like this and every single pay pig that has left him until this point has realized this exact fact that this is how it's gonna be forever of this month they're all gonna expire and then this is gonna go down by about a hundred now will some of those people decide that they really liked having a membership here on dsp gaming and renew i would hope so i would hope out of the hundred maybe five maybe ten would say well i really like that i'm gonna i like that it was a nice five free out trial. Of 100 that's a pretty low and bar five percent renew that okay really we'll see so you think your benefits are are so good right that people should become members but you think only five people would convert out of a hundred people that got the membership for free then your benefits are ass or will another generous soul come by and say hey that was really another cool generous when, soul uh, you know we're doing soul searching I, seeing so many people as a member and enjoy it i'd like to continue that and then come and some more people might gift memberships again right <clears throat> so we'll see what happens but I just don't want anyone to freak out. It's not the end of the world if we lose a bunch of memberships here because the gift of memberships expire. It's not. All right? It's not the end We're of the world. See but I'm going to warn you in advance that this will happen. Some growth, some long-term growth as a result of those membership bombs. So thank you to those who did give memberships in the last month. And uh, let's Boy, see what happens. I'm about to bust. Listen, I hope you realize that I don't just need memberships. I also need tips. However, I need everybody to keep gifting still. Things are tough. Things are tough. I mean, that's the reality. He needs more of everything. He just can't outright tell you this because it's embarrassing. Maybe keep it going. All right. If you liked it, by all means. And he tries to do his mental gymnastics around this. Oh, yeah, this is not a big deal if it happens. But please, I'm going to have this segment explaining to you that this is going to happen. Please. It's very important to me. It's a part of my business. But it's not the end of the world. It's not a big deal, really. But I, I have nothing to eat tomorrow. It's not a big deal. And I'm not asking for much. Consider re-upping that membership when it expires, all right? I'm just asking for a little bit from a ton of people <clears throat> who are not supposed to care, but I'm entitled to it. Okay, now. It makes a lot of so, sense. yesterday was my... It's your brainwashed. ...day off, all right? Um, man, did I... First of all, I needed the day off because I was so worn out. Last weekend, you know, took a ton out of me. It really did. Um... <clears throat> essentially made me lose my voice and i was trying to still tough through it with like half a voice right i was like oh my god i could barely talk you know i sounded terrible not to say that i'm 100 percent. i'm not i still have like a little little tickle down there of course he's not 100 <laughs> percent. and i definitely have the post nasal drip going on today which of really course. sucks but and him him at 100 percent is a normal person at like 15 percent and him not being at 100 percent is a normal person at like five percent there's nothing you can do about it. It's like borderline. You're barely even existing. You know, neither here. You just you just exist. You breathe and you consume and you complain. That's all that he does. That's uh, that's him at his best. Over there. Um. And you play video I games. I covered my voice. Obviously, you can hear. But I you can complain talk about it all the time. Which is great. All the swelling uh, that I had in there, and it went down. I was like, ah, thank God. So that's good. Um, and. I had, uh, you know, opportunity to spend time with my wife, although admittedly, again, more than half the day, us running around run, doing errands and things. We and it, make the it most still it, wasn't right? good enough. It still wasn't good so enough. So we had a lot to do. He bitched about it, complained about it. He complains about it every week. And it was, it's still not good enough. It's still not good enough. Nothing is ever good enough for him. And he no, never does anything that is good enough for anything. Um, <clears throat> you know, got up, got ready for the day, headed out and ran a bunch of uh, errands. We had to get uh, Jasper pet food this week. He was low on his cat food. I don't like how pet food, it's cat food. Um, yeah, we had to get him cat food um, and grab a few odds and ends while we were out. Uh, and then we had to go grocery shopping. Now this week, uh, we had to basically penny pinch, you know? This last week, I told you guys over the weekend, what happened was, oh, was like he's, one or he's two looking days all over the place. Things were really good on stream. And then all of a sudden, other now days Now we're locked really into slow. the I'll camera. Honest, we're the very... The, the glances to the side. Man, this is so convincing. Ori, all right? Really did not garner much support on streams. I don't know what it was. A subtle I did, I, you know, It's weird because typically... 
even if you have a slow day on stream, it evens out over time. You'll have a, be a better day than a slower day. For some reason, the entirety of the time I was playing the quarry, it was pretty much slow support. I don't know if people just didn't like the game. I don't know if it was something in the air. I don't know. What if it's you? All the other games I've been playing recently know. actually did better. Seriously, like today we're playing WWE 2K22. That was doing better support-wise than the quarry. Um, <clears throat> Skyrim, as a daytime stream, was doing better than the quarry. So... <clears throat> What can you do, right? You guys did rally with support on Monday, and I really appreciated that. It essentially allowed us to afford everything we needed to do on our day off as long as we didn't go crazy. So we were basically kind of penny-pinching. We were. We were like, okay, this week we're not getting this. This week we're not going to get that. We're going to cut down on this. What can we like do what? for what? a meal? Come on, say something. You like being the transparent left. guy. Come on, what did you cut down on? Over from other meals. Oh, and no, just that's just to make him look like a broke boy. Because he gets all this money and then people start asking questions. But man, I suffer. I suffer just like you. I just get way more money and it's all gone. Two to make the meal rather than make a fresh meal. So that's essentially what we were really doing. Um, <clears throat> and uh, we ban actually somebody. were able did to ban somebody? cut down. What did they say so now? that's essentially what we were... What, what did we they do say this time? For a meal. For, oh, cra what can you do? Never mind. You gotta go and, like 40 uh, seconds back. We actually were able to significantly cut down on the grocery bill this Wow, week. that's now, an adult thing that, that you did. Week. Like some weeks, you run out of stuff. Oh, we're, you know, we're out of paper products. We're out of paper uh, plates, huh? Paper for the house. Paper products. We're out of <laughs> like what, notebooks for all the bills that you write down? Out of this key ingredient that's expensive, you know? Like what we do is when we go to buy food, uh, food ingredients, we'll buy like a giant pack of chicken thighs. And okay. then that chicken thighs is good for two to three meals. So that way we space it out. Well, every once in a while, you got to buy the chicken thighs. Why that... are you talking about it like this is an innovative, groundbreaking concept? What? This is just a normal people thing. It's when you got to drop the big amount of money, you see? Wow. So, <clears throat> it just so happened this week we were able to kind of crunch. Oh, they crunch. Penny Pigeon save and just like the game developers that he shits on all the time. Get it down a lot. And we were like, oh, this is good for once. Except also they have jobs. The, the grocery bill, you know, wasn't insanely high like it's been. You know, the past two years, the grocery bill's been going up and up and up because of inflation. We're not buying anything extravagant and we're not buying anything new. We buy all What does extravagant mean? Like a BMW? Literally everything we can buy store brand, we buy store brand to save yeah, money. Yeah, okay, good, good. Uh, uh, why are you trying to convince me? It's like he's talking to his fucking parents, you see? And trying to make himself into this big victim so he can give them money. Like, come on, man. Come on. Why do we have to have this kind of a talk? We don't go for name brands to forbid- This is just- this- this is just him trying to convince you to give money. It's not him explaining what happened to his day off. Because it's fun and interesting. It's just a begging segment. Because he's trying to make himself in as much of a victim situation as possible. So you could have a bigger chance of giving him money. Better flavor or whatever. We don't care because we're just trying to they save don't money. Care. And the grocery bill keeps going up. Like, geez, oh my man. god, it's the it inflation. The government would do something about that, but that would mean that they're... The government would do something about that. He doesn't even know what's wrong. The government, please help me. Actually competent. Government, and help. Anyway, sorry. I yeah. didn't go off. Wow, he went off on the government. This is gonna be uploaded as a clip. Dark side Phil destroys the government with facts and logic. And the whole clip is just this. And the grocery bill keeps going up. Like, geez, man. You would think the government would do something about that, but that would mean that they're actually competent. Anyway, sorry. Whoa, what an amazing fucking moment. I didn't mean to go off. Go off, Phil. <laughs> well, he called the government I incompetent. Anyway. So, we went grocery shopping, and uh, and then uh, flipped back home. I don't know why we flipped. They flipped back Came home. back home, unpacked and everything. And Jasper was very confused, because typically in a normal day, um, you know, we're not coming back multiple times during our day out. And Jasper's like, what are you doing home now? He thought we were home for good. And we're like, sorry, buddy, we're actually going out again. So obviously we went out, we got our hair. Bro, Jasper is a cat, by the way. In case you forgot, Jasper is a cat. No, it's not a, a cartoonish, in super intelligent cat person. It's not a child, and it's not a human being. Jasper is a cat. Haircut. In case you All didn't right. know. 
while we were at and the haircut come on oh. the fucking haircut uh couldn't believe Terrible. it someone recognized me for the first time in like oh really? two and a half to three years <laughs> i think the last time somebody someone recognized, recognized me while we were out doing something was like 2019 and uh, we just happened to be uh in the supermarket and someone recognized me a tall gentleman younger fellow i think he actually worked at the supermarket i'm not sure and he looked at me he was like this is like a squint he's like are you dark side phil and i was like yes he was like oh cool fist bump and we fist bumped he was walking away and he's like oh it's cool to see you out you know no one ever really sees you i was like yeah i know i gave him a thumbs up and that was it <laughs> pretty simple a nice interaction a pleasant uh, i think this is both uh, an ego stroke and a big paranoia segment it fellow and because somebody looking at him and stopping him being like wait are you dark side Phil? And you don't know where it can go from then on. I was pleased to run into someone who was nice. It's always nice to run into someone who's nice. So that was a nice thing. Shout yeah, out. what do you, you think is gonna bust your ass in the supermarket? Like get real DSP, uh, come on. Even if I saw him in public, I wouldn't like beat his ass or something. And you were a good person. I would just like laugh at him. It was nice to run into you. A nice interaction. <clears throat> okay. Um. Maybe I would take a picture consensually. So when we went and got our hair cut, all right, and then after that, uh, we were like, okay, it's dinner time. It's time for our one meal out for the week. <laughs> and we can actually afford it because you guys supported me over the weekend and we penny pay. And now this is literally ridiculous. This is literally ridiculous. Cause he went through the entire fucking weird begging segment, talking about how much of a broke bitch he is. And now we're eating outside because you guys helped me and we penny pinched how do you penny pinch and go eat outside pinched so we had enough money and i was like so where do we want to go we're talking about all these different places Bro. that we could go he's literally the definition of the choosing beggar the definition and it was basically between wow um excuse me oh gassy it was basically between gassy. italian food <clears throat> or Sushi. That's slick. Italian DSP. food we have not eaten out in years. The last time we went to an Italian restaurant was before the pandemic. Um, we used to go at least twice a year. There's a couple of Italian restaurants around here that are half decent, not great. There's one that's like more Americanized Italian food. And there's one, not Olive Garden, it's actually better than that. And then there's another one <clears throat> that's actually a more local restaurant. And they have a good menu. The problem is they're a little bit more... They're smaller. You have to kind of like make a reservation. They're not expensive, but you have to make a reservation. And of course, we need to look right in the camera and make to, to push the point that it's not expensive, by the way. Because remember how I begged like two minutes ago and I was really poor? Well, now I wasn't, but then I didn't spend that much money. So that makes it okay, I guess. Because they're, they're more popular in the area because they're actually like semi-authentic Italian. Um, so... We were thinking about what to do and even though we hadn't had italian in a long time my wife says oh, i'm just i'm feeling asian i said all right so asian we go to this style. asian place it's not really asian place it's a sushi place but they also do a it's not really an asian place but it's a sushi place it's a dark side film moment a few other things like chicken teriyaki and things like that but they are literally the definition of a hole in the wall they are in a strip mall where everything in the strip mall looks like something, you know, you would never face. It's all things you would never think, like why would there be a good sushi place in a strip mall like it, okay? But they are literally the best sushi place here. We've tried all these different places, you know, especially during the pandemic when you're stuck at home, we were ordering and stuff. Um, this is the best one. They're just outstanding. They're, first of all, if you order chicken teriyaki, it's fresh. It has that char on it that tastes amazing. And unlike other chicken teriyaki places, they don't overcook the chicken where it's more dry. It's juicy, tender, full of flavor, but it has a char on the outside too, which is so good. Oh my fucking God. Crab, avocado. Um, This is trash. Together, man, like every kind of flavor shit. you could think of in sushi all in one. The other one we got was so unique. It was amazing. So, it's so tuna, unique. It was put amazing. Spiced to be All very right. spicy, okay. Then wrapped. Then you got the rice, and on top of that, another piece of raw tuna, not spicy. 
And on top of that, they called it like a special spicy sauce. All right. So first of all, the first one that we had, that was everything. Oh my God. You put it in your mouth. You taste so many flavors. You're like, oh, the sweetness of the crab, the warmness and crunchiness and flavor of the, the t tempura shrimp, the savoriness <laughs> the of the fish that's <laughs> the in there. And then you get a little bit of spicy kick from the sauce that's on there. And that's spicy like, kick. Oh, this guy is just like. Oh, it's delicious. It's absolutely amazing. Oh, I, I, I can't believe this. Amazing. I can't like believe this. Every flavor this. you could want. But as good as that sounds. This is the most bizarre fucking person I've, I've ever seen in my life is this guy. This guy is just, he's something else. He's something else. I need to go to the bathroom and take like a two minute break. So let's uh, you guys watch this and I'll be back. And uh, yeah, later, maybe we're going to play games even. All right. Hey, by the way, Steve, if you want to pop on uh, Mortal Kombat 11, we could play that. I have that installed. So if you want to play for the for the viewing audience and uh, I'm going to be terrible and you're going to beat me in the game, that will be going to uh, that will be very fun. All right. Watch this. I'll be right back. Okay. And maybe heavy rain after Hitman later. I'll see because later I have a podcast to attend. The other one that we had was the best sushi I've ever eaten, all right? But hands down, and I've had different kinds. I've had raw, cooked. This one was the best one, the tuna one. So it's tuna on tuna, essentially. So the first thing you do, this is the one that has the spicy tuna in the middle. Then it has the roll of rice and everything with, and I believe inside there's a piece of like a cucumber. And then on top, there's the, the other piece of raw tuna with the sauce. <clears throat> so you put this in your mouth and you start to chew and immediately you strip strong tuna flavor. Now, recently, if you watched my content a couple weeks ago, I actually had a seared tuna banh mi sandwich from a Vietnamese restaurant. And I told you guys it was the first time I had uncooked tuna and it was really weird. I was like, man, this tastes very odd to me. I've never had it before. I've only, you know, I only had it in, in other kinds of sushi, but I never actually had like a mouthful of tuna, right? So the first, yes, we did use chopsticks. This, this particular restaurant only has chopsticks. They won't give you utensils unless you specifically request them. So, you put it in your mouth, the first thing you taste, obviously, a, mouth, a mouthful of tuna flavor. And it's good, but it's very fishy. So for the first couple seconds, it's good, and then you're like, man, now it's gonna be too much tuna. But then what happens is, as you start to chew, you get a bite of whatever, I think it was cucumber, but I'm not certain, but I think it was refreshing, whatever the, 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 the crunchy vegetable was in there. It was very refreshing. Okay, so I'm like, mmm, that's good because you're just about to be overwhelmed by the tuna flavor and then boom, you get a refreshingness to it, okay? But then just as you think you're done, because you continue to chew before you swallow, all of a sudden, the spiciness of the spicy tuna in the middle hits your mouth in the back of your tongue. So you're getting fish flavor in the front of your mouth with a cooling sensation and then all of a sudden you get a burningness that comes through your mouth and it's like, fucking perfect i've never had i actually was saying to cats like this is like a timed release of flavors i've never eaten anything in my life that was a timed release of flavors it's designed to taste differently while you chew it i couldn't believe it i was like what in the wow i was completely blown away i've never I, I seriously, like now, I'm interested in finding foods that do this. <laughs> foods that start to taste out one, taste one way or one texture, and then all of a sudden, they change, change in the middle. Wow, I'm back. Like, I was like, I didn't even know this existed. I was like, oh my God. What is happening? He's still serious. having his, his mind blown by food, by sushi. Amazing. It was so effing good. Oh. Man. All right, so good. <clears throat> So good. And so, um, I would say we had a pretty good meal out. Just saying. <laughs> you know, we're having a flex, just saying we had a pretty go good meal out at the at the good Italian fucking restaurant. And yeah, you're right. He, it fucking happens all the time. Wait, it's called a timed release of flavors that I missed. Timed release. Yeah, look at this. I've never had... I actually was saying to Kaz, like, this is like a timed release of flavors. <laughs> I've never eaten anything in my life that was a timed release of flavors. Oh, dark it's side. It's designed to taste differently while you chew it. Oh, dark side, man. 
I couldn't believe it. I can't believe this too, that you're this excited over eating food and just existing. Oh, dark side fucking Phil. What happened with Ann Lee? What the hell happened? That's what I'm asking too. Huh? I don't know, dude. I guess we're gonna see. This is a stream, right? It is. And it's, uh, it's kind of late American time. And uh, is there any other DSP shit that is worth watching? Perhaps? Let's see. The Snort Brunel stuff i seen. Destroyed in, in Street Fighter. Slow day and night. When was this? It's probably like a day ago. Don't play it. Again, I don't know if this is the streaming version. My, my neck, the back of my head, the... Oh my god! I'm never playing that. It's a waste of time. It's literally a waste of time. I'm complete online abuse because fucking those shit you cannot defend against online because this connection sucks. <laughs> it was a Muppet. I... Alright, it's typical uh, DSP type of uh, situation. Let's see something else, man. Maybe I'm forgetting something. There's this uh, August the Duck video on DSP that got... 141k hey, that's pretty it's good are my life i think i already talked about this and it's a uh, it's it's pretty cool for somebody with a check mark to shit on dsp that's pretty cool it's blood Every day to day i can't have tips completely drying up now in the next several weeks and this is actually what makes the pre-stream podcast truly what it is is that anytime somebody wants to make fun of dsp especially a guy with a check mark this terrible layout is gonna show up that looks like fucking super mario and these people are gonna have to be confused by this grown-ass man sitting in front of all of these terribly pixelated boxes in a statue that it looks really, really bad. So yeah. Mercy, I'm about to bust. Imagine being with your wife, your soulmate, the only human you talk to face to face, and the phrase timed release of flavors comes out your mouth. Oh, Kat knows uh, all about the timed release of flavors. She knows all about that. And Jenna knows even more about it. Way more. So I guess it might be time to play games. Hmm. And you guys voted for Hitman. That's what you wanted. So you better buy in. Or maybe something else. I don't know. There's no new DSP shit that I know of. There's some people that were making fun of him. Uh, on their podcast, which was a pretty good inside perspective of uh, how people that don't know about DSP actually watch DSP, which I think I can find that. Because I think I liked it. So maybe we can check that out real quick and then we can play. Hmm, I don't know if I saw it on... Yeah, it was somebody's podcast, I think. Hmm. Uh, I don't have uh, Chivalry 2. I don't have the game, man. Uh, let's see the let's see his Q and A. Maybe there's some uh, stupid question that gets someone uh, on some weird tangent. Hey, big ups, uh, old school gamer. What's up, man? Keeping it old school. Uh, the, the PS Plus premium tier. That was a great stream, Phil. What a great stream. And the message to everyone, thank you, got 4,000 views, which is great for DSP. And then he made a begging video after that. Special vid. Where is his weirdo q and I think it was more recent than this, but I can't find it because it's all it's all just a landfill of trash. Here it is, impromptu Q&A. All right, everyone. Well, hello. Welcome to an impromptu session. Q&A here live on my stream. Uh, we just finished up my playthrough of WWE 2K22 My Rise. It's a session. It's not just time. a stupid YouTube it's video. It's a session. Them, answer questions and have a, have a little bit of fun. So uh, let's see what people want to talk about. All right, so if you're interested... And ask me a question, tag me in the stream chat. <clears throat> At DSP Gaming, what's up with that haircut, bro? Devin says, is there a question you think would be good that's never been asked yet? Uh, at this point, I don't know if a question's never been asked. <laughs> I've been doing this for 14 years. I mean, admittedly, the first few years, I didn't really do this. But then as soon as I started doing Q&A shows and stuff, I think 
I, I can't think of a question that's not been asked, so. Derek says, if Telltale was still making games actively, what movie would I see made into a game? A movie that a movie franchise that was never made into a game. Ghostbusters. I guess you could. Ghostbusters with uh, Bill Murray, Car Harold Ramis. Oh, That's his favorite people. Okay, so these guys, uh, the gentleman and lady, on their podcast discuss DSP. So uh, let's uh, let's get a look at what they said. I also got to see a video. These are just people that are not into like actually DSP stuff. I think this is their only thing that they've done about him. So I'm quite curious what they got to say. I watched about a few minutes of this and this from four days ago yeah i don't think they've talked about them yeah oh no they did talk about dsp brendan schaub dsp and stuttering john all refused to take their l i guess they know something about him then and let's, uh, let's see what they gotta t say about him that made me feel better about our situation this is their link about if you want to check it out. More goals than usual lately, and and all of that stuff. Because you notice when we miss goals, you know we we go down swinging. We're like, hey guys, this far away, what do you say? Last five minutes of the show, let's play some music, have some fun, see if we can knock it out and give you an extra thirty. Okay, so we do that. Mm -hmm. You don't see us going, guys, please, what are we gonna do? What is it? Look, like I told somebody else in our comment section today. They're like, well, what do you do when you fall short of your money? I go, well, we ask. And then if we don't get it, we take the L and we move on to the next show. You hope you do better next time. I got a DSP video today. Uh, Dark Side Phil Gaming. Okay. Dark Side you, Phil every Gaming. Every time I watch this guy, two <laughs> things happen. One, I'm very glad how we handle asking our fans to support our show. And two, I realize how bad it can get if you abandon all dignity uh because dark side oh, that's a that's a proper roast that's a good roast phil uploaded a four now this wasn't dark side phil uh doing a live stream and also oh, they had a thing about the sp already all right in the middle of the live stream taking four minutes to plead with his audience see there's asking and there's pleading you know we'll go hey guys we're this far away from the goal chip in that would help a ton that's asking yes pleading is what he does it's one thing to stop for four minutes in the middle of a live stream and plead. That's bad. Mm. In my opinion, it's a total other thing to make a four minute video and upload it, which is simply pleading. You super went out of your way for it. Yeah. What's the other thing I say? If we're ever down in audience in a day or in a week, if it's a little lower and people say, well, it's because of this. What do I always say to those people? Go I go up, up, up. Like excuses. Yeah, I said up, up, up. <laughs> Tell them that they're fucking idiots and they should just believe you and watch your stuff anyways. No excuses. Just assume that whenever you're down, you're not doing a good job and you need to do better next time. Always do better. That's what you should be doing. DSP. We got a DSP doubleheader tonight. One of him. And this is amazing because this guy gets shit on on the Internet all the time for being ruthless with his begging. And he has no self-awareness about it yet. He still makes these videos. And then we have the double feature, which is him trying to explain to the audience that's left why his audience is so low now. Which, oh, so he's trying to explain it away. If you're trying to explain that to your audience, you're really trying to explain it to yourself. Yes, you're talking out loud to yourself. This guy, I tell you, and there's so many other streamers on Twitch and YouTube who make me happy about this. It, it makes me happy, and it encourages me to keep being honest with our audience. That's good. You know, because I watch a guy like this, and I'm like, dude, who are you trying to convince? <laughs> Them or, us or you? Yeah, us or you. And like when it comes it's to both. us and our That's audience, the thing. we go, it's both. Hey, yeah. it, he's trying to convince them and himself. Because he also needs, needs a lot of convincing to convince himself all this bullshit that he l wants to believe. Yeah, live stream numbers, not what they were on Twitch because we left Twitch. Now the people who watched us live stream every single day, hundreds of them aren't there anymore. Yep. Oh, well, that happens. More of a our podcasting over, format. Yeah, our though. overall viewership after the fact is way, way up. That's good. But hey, honesty is honesty. A lot of people, and, and this is why I tell people you can never go behind a paywall. Because a lot of people, ju you think they love you, and really, they just go, no, it's because you're there. And if you went away, I'd find something else. And you know, 
and there's a couple we're free yeah a couple hundred of those people when we got kicked off of twitch said now just go find something else because we were literally back on youtube that same day Dude. and they still just went can't be bothered fuck it imagine doing something like that That's yeah sometimes it is so just we got like a this. dsp double feature coming up. because y you shouldn't assume that people care all that much about you. you're just a guy on the internet making some shit and no matter how good this shit can be for some people it's just random shit that they don't just care about too much and they don't have to that's the good thing about the internet so yeah and up i gotta say thank you to travis for the ten dollar super sticker we take 70 of that 385 is now the goal thank you guys very much uh no oh, i was gonna thank a few people on paypal but nothing came up i thought we were gonna start the show on a roll here because those three guys uh throwing in with the super chats and super stickers either way guys uh let's supercharge it let's get in that paypal let's put some dents in that gold tonight get let's our 30 minutes of overtime and uh we can do as much show content as possible let's watch one of our fools dsp god he looks and so this lazy. also this uh this is a good way to to handle uh stuff like that he doesn't he he really does now you I know if it, because they they mentioned you know asking for support and stuff it's a good way to do it it's just you mentioned you guys were doing this show whatever whatever we're gonna go over time do that stuff and that's it don't harp on it i've been <laughs> learning a little something you know what let's small screen dsp i don't need to give him reasons for you know and they also got a sponsor you see rollies rednecks and long necks they do it long neck style bugging us okay um wow. i've learned things about dsp since I started talking about DSP. But I don't know what they, they actually talk about. Lizzo, gas prices, DSP, uh, fat people? What is this? Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know about this. And this is a four hour stream? All right. Let's watch some more of this. One of the things I've learned is that this guy is horrendous with money that when he oh, gets yeah. that's pretty easy to learn 500 from his audience he takes out 500 oh <laughs> oh my god no the printer that was an entire thing of water oh baby we need don't a worry towel. about it. we're in the middle of a fucking show we'll be fine wait what so <laughs> this dsp hold on hold on he spilled some shit on the printer and we're having a we, we keep the show going we'll go get a towel if it's All not right. important to you but i'm in the middle of a show go here. get a towel <laughs> go get a towel if it's that important to you we're doing a show can't here just stop a fucking show and do oh yeah this is live i think up on aisle four for god's sake <laughs> so and i will wreck the printer if it means doing a show we'll go get a printer we you're gonna a buy a new show. printer let's go all right it's there. gonna be fine there. the show the printer's takes... fine i think by the grace of Priority. god we're gonna be all right so this DSP, like I said, if I could continue where I left off. Uh, DSP. <laughs> That's a nice thought. Gets $500, <laughs> spends $500. I mean, and, and... All right, we know about this. You can go watch it. It's, uh, it's pinned in chat. We know about this. Let's, uh, let's watch some other shit. Uh, you go get a towel if it's that important. I'm doing a show here. <laughs> this is my stream. <laughs> Oh, uh, what is this? Oh, yeah, this guy played the Ninja Turtles by himself. It was very funny. This four-player co-op game. Yeah. Uh, what about... Why am I even on his channel? Hmm. Let's see what happened with, uh, with Andy. Physically, Lee. literally, and emotionally cannot play. Let me in. We told you, you it's not possible. We're trying to help you. Now. What is happening, bro? It's, it's... <laughs> okay, I'm gonna find out on demand what on earth happened. Uh, I guess maybe games now. I don't know. I don't know. We can watch Wings always. Or oh yeah, this is uh, this is a cool one. Oh, oh great nudity! Just what I wanted to see. <laughs> this is the the God of War nudity segment. They took this out of the game. They originally got rid of this shit with the newer ones, the reboots, but of course they had to have that in here. Of course. Of course. Well, I'll get the fucking power. No, I'm not doing that. That was a power up. I'm not doing that. <laughs> he is so disturbed by, by video game nudity. 
Oh, uh, and what is what is this one? I, oh, this by uh, Mr. Sam. You were here with me five years ago. Where are you? What happened to you? I'm trying so hard to find you. Sorry. I feel like I failed you. So we got about a year and a half left to wait for the release of Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. So, I'm starting to see a pattern. <laughs> Remake, Rebirth, Regurgitate will be the third one. Oh no, Respec, I what do you think the name of the third one will be? Reborn, Relived, Regen, Reimagined, Recycled, Reincarnated, oh that, maybe, Revive, Reunion, Rebuild. Re. 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 <laughs> oh yeah, he did this. He did the re. Oh, uh, this is a great chart. You were here. Re. Me. Re. Okay, let's play some games. That's enough uh, stalling and looking for content. There is no content to be found anywhere. It's been tough. Uh, let's head on to what is called this thing. Hitman 2. And let's start playing the game, okay? All right. Sound good. Oh. I also kind of wanted Heavy Rain, but maybe after like one uh one game of this nonsense because you guys voted for it on the in on the poll that was on the channel you also voted for my choice so i guess my choice were four choices and i then i gave you those four choices to make that one choice you know what i mean and i got the original levels i don't have the dlcs for this stuff because i i'm buying that shit and they start from here i guess Let's do the one that uh, takes place in Miami, I guess. That wouldn't be that bad. And I'm playing this on the PlayStation 4, so it's not PC. Uh, let's do the finish line thing, because I think there's a couple of stories that are great on this level. And uh, yeah, I do like the Hitman games. I think they're great. Especially the, the new trilogy is pretty fun. The open-endedness of the levels. The open-ended style. And let's pick something. Let's go as the Flamingo. That's a pretty fun one. With no guns. Uh, no gun. In case we get checked. And a lockpick. Lockpicks are good. And I'm gonna go on professional. Okay, let's go professional. And what are the what are the modifiers? Unlimited saves. All right, I'm not I'm not gonna save scum or reload like previous saves. If shit goes down, I'm just gonna start shooting people. Uh, Cause this the stealth stuff can get really boring if I just restart the save over and over again. So we got cameras, and we got cameras that are gonna notify for legal illegal activity so okay let's start with this and let's just get it going this is also one of the levels that has the most people in it there's massive crowds of people like in, in the first uh, Hitman, the Paris level. That had a ton of people there. And it's also a good game for both the people that like the in-depth assassination style. style and people that just want to go through the, the stories. Remember, folks, and get handheld through them. It's all about getting your car to cover as many miles as possible, no matter how burned out or beat up it may be. All right. 
Okay, we get started from here. Uh, let me look for maybe some hint to where a story can take place. Don't worry, folks. Anything can still happen. I haven't tried to kill everybody in the level. I think that would be a little too ambitious. Okay, so we're having a, a mission story open up. Okay, so this story is at the pit stop. Okay, so um, I figure we can snatch this guy. One of the Kronstadt pit crew has quit the team in protest, and Grace Miller, the ball buster chief mechanic, is in critical need of a replacement. Why don't you step in and offer your services, 47? You're good with a wrench. All right, I guess. I mean, I've done all of them, so it doesn't really matter. I would rather do the, the one that is most fun. And this one is, is pretty fun with the flamingo. I think. Or maybe we can do this one. This one is pretty fun. Let's go and find out where it starts. Let me just repeat some ground rules for those of you new to endurance races. You gotta cover as much ground as possible. Okay, this level is also pretty intertwined and uh, pretty elaborately designed. Oh, there's a pretty big crowd of people, and I have to get across. So this is not gonna cut it. And what do we have a camera up there? Look at these beautiful cars. These cars are the future of motorsports. Uh, okay, this is gonna be a restricted area. Okay, let me go all around. And I can go through the parking lot that's underneath, and I'm gonna come out the other way. Okay, so now I'm gonna try and not walk in front of this. Can I go around maybe through here? Let's see, nobody's gonna see me use this? Nope. And then we got a free pass, I guess. We can pass through here. And I can also get disguised as a race marshal. All right, let's go. The flamingo outfit is not what I'm gonna use for this assassination, so it actually doesn't really help me in this case okay so I avoided the camera I got this thing I think there might be another one. Oh, there is and it got me so there goes that unless I destroy it later on oh yeah he looks like he hit the the vest goal with this nice orange vest it stands out great on camera okay so if I turn this out then that person might get electrocuted, so I, I don't think that's going to help me a lot right now. Okay, and I'm almost outside. Yeah, and he got the hat and the vest, but he doesn't have a, a neck phones. You should get those neck phones. Well, let's try and not get caught on camera right here. This is one of uh, really the good levels because there is a couple of of major buildings that you go into like this one and the place where the event is hold. That's a pretty big spot. Oh, this is a different one. Let's go and follow that this person. Ted Mendez, one of the country's most influential military grade money men. This must be connected to Kronstadt. And the last level in this also has great design. The the Isle of of Skyil or whatever it was called, the big castle. Well, it's Ted here. Just returning your call before heading over to the expo. Hey, he's calling Phil. For the new combat android presentation. No, not yet. I'm letting him stew a little. The guy's a genius, and you know what they're like. Desperately lacking any discipline or respect for other people. They're lacking. Last time I tried to have a meeting with him. He had me sitting in a room for four hours before canceling. I'll head up when I feel like it. All right, I'll call you after the presentation. Speak then. 
Okay, we got it. Then we're gonna go Ted after Mendes, this guy. A defense funding consultant with the U.S. military is scheduled for a private demonstration of a new Kronstadt robotics project. Sounds like a way to get up close and personal with Robert Knox, 47. All right, sure. Now let's first uh, snatch this guy and put him in a bush somewhere where they're not gonna find him. And we can dress up as him. Got a nice military style hat and a nice suit. Okay, he's probably gonna go to some secluded place. Yeah, you got it right here. I guess I just need to sneak by, make some noise maybe. There isn't anybody here, right? Yep, and here's how we're gonna make the noise. Okay, and I'm gonna hide somewhere, maybe here. Okay, these are all lethal. Okay, how about I take this? What the? Is this you? Uh, you did yes. This? Okay. Uh, we take his disguise. Even though he he alerted me and he's now a witness, I'm gonna hide him. And if I get rid of him here, then it's all good. I could have probably taken him from the back too. Could have hit him from the back, but that wouldn't. Uh, that would require me to hide somewhere else. Okay, so now I'm dressed like this guy. I can go to the building and pretend like I'm the, the guy that I just took out. Day. It is a lovely day. And this building is pretty cool. That guy is investigating a distraction that I didn't turn off. Could have turned it off, but it doesn't really matter. He's not gonna find anything. Okay, there's probably a camera here somewhere, but the demonstration is scheduled to take place on the upper floors. Please feel free to use the stairs right over there. Okay, so we gotta go to the executive floor. Oh, this kind of looks like it, considering Welcome, that sir. that's exactly what it says. Okay, they don't wanna risk me or anything. That's good. Probably had to. And we got a photo of Robert Knox. Collecting pictures of celebrity entrepreneurs now, 47. Hmm. What are you thinking? I don't know. I'm a fan. Okay, so we got to go to the demo. Let's find where it is. Right this way, sir. Okay, she's going to guide me. All right. Where's the demo? You still haven't told me. Go. There's the West Wing. Well, I guess it's that way because it says it on the on the radar. Let's see what this guy has to say. Oh my God, the soda dispenser is broken. Oh my God, how dare they force the guy to bring his own energy drinks? This is a serious issue. And this is probably the main reason I'm gonna kill this guy right now. This is unacceptable. Can't get away with it. Let me show you everything. I'm gonna say something provocative now, Ted. War is going out of fashion. It's dirty, it's just plain bad PR. Nobody wants to exchange their children and loved ones for flags and medals anymore. The glory is gone, Ted. But, luckily, Kronstadt has a solution for that. Imagine this. Android infiltrators operating in the field, disguised and fully embedded, ready to strike at a moment's notice. Indestructible robotic operators who can infiltrate the deepest sanctuary of any adversary, striking an unseen fatal blow. A surgical tool for a blunt world. Imagine an army of them Fully equipped android medics seeking out wounded servicemen and injured civilians, bringing them to safety or patching them up then and there. Android pilots delivering payloads deep inside enemy territory with uncanny wow, precision that's some, and minimal That's some ops. Damage. That's running some ops. All right, Mendez. It's very strange. Sounds good. I'm going to buy it. You. All right. Where do I sign up? Use the scanner to upload the biometric data, and Palace will do the rest. 
Yo, all right. Obviously, the final system won't rely on you manually all right. feeding it biometric Where data. do I press? This is still a prototype. This is a pivotal moment in modern conflict solution, Ted. Palace is entirely foolproof. All you need is to pick a photo from the table and scan it just like I showed you. It's perfectly safe. Go ahead. All right. Okay, so remember when I picked up the picture of his earlier? Well, I'm gonna use it now. And this is... Ready, Pick any image on the table and scan it to activate palace. Okay, scan picture. And the photo of Robert Knox. But let me just pick the picture first. So it's not really obvious that I killed him. Okay, scan the photo. And we put his photo. Just scan the photo. Uh-oh. Oh no! It was an accident! Down. Oh no, he died. Uh, anyways, I'm gonna go check out that soda machine. That was enough for this guy. And this was uh, this story, it was pretty straightforward. And a lot of them kind of end up being like that, or at least one or two per level. Are kind of this basic formula of... Snatch somebody... And then go and talk to somebody and then they're gonna give you an audience with the guy you need to kill so yeah it is pretty straightforward like that and they were still confused and they just walked out of that room of course am i allowed to be in here oh this is the android lab let me see what kind of stuff i can take i can use the android arm oh yes that is very very useful uh, if I want to bitch slap somebody. This, uh, it's a non-lethal as well. What's happening here? Oh, he's dragging our guy. Our boy that I just... Had nothing to do with his death. I was just sitting there. Oh, and I'm not actually allowed to go down here. Maybe there is some uh, secret facility. Actually, fuck it, let's go down here. Yeah, get rid of that. As in, like, it, it, it's not like you gotta do what they ask you. And I think this suit uh, allows me to go in anywhere. Because uh, there are some suits that are overpowered like that. Whoa, look at this. This is the other target. She's racing right now. So I think I missed my cue on uh, that guy that worked at the pit stop. Okay, this is gonna come in handy. All right, I think there's something else here. The race is entering its final lap, 47. Okay, let's just focus on some story. Uh, that could be uh, helpful, I think. Target is... Target was eliminated for that one. And this one failed already. I think uh, the first one is going to work out. I think this one can work. Let me just go find where it begins. Because it's probably in the other side of this entire map. Just go through here, I guess. Because now we're kind of underground, huh? Maybe I can find my way out. Okay, this is the building. This is uh, the supercar that they were working on. And I'm gonna drop this robotic arm. I don't want to be walking around in it. And another camera. That's very nice. But I guess not that big of a deal. Okay, now getting to the other side. There's, I guess, one more camera in here, I the think. The race is over. Sierra will be coming off the track any time now. Well, I guess I need to be pretty fast for this one because I don't know what time uh, the the story is taking place. And if it's soon, then I guess I need to be faster than this. Oh, oh and this is the flamingo guy. Yeah, I'm not taking his story. I think I can unlock this because I have the lockpick. 
and I also dodge this camera, but it's not like it matters at this point. If one of them catches me, it doesn't really. It's probably gonna give me less points. Okay, now I go through this. Wait, what? I'm trespassing? Oh, come on. Trespassing. I guess I need to find a roundabout way. Okay, this guy is just kind of sitting here. Okay, let's bait him. Or maybe I can just pass through here. Even though I'm trespassing in here as well, but it's gonna help me just get through. Maybe something useful in this cabinet? Um, sure, I mean a syringe. That's alright. And now I'm on the other side, but here I guess I need to sneak around. Because everybody is on me. Maybe this guy, if I can snatch him and dress up as him. Oh yeah, this <laughs> this is not the beginner difficulty. I, I failed this too much, so now I need to beat his ass. No, 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 stay here, come on. Oh no. Well, what I'm gonna do is, is this. Oh, oh. No, no, how do I kill her? All right, now I'm gone. That's it. Bye. I don't even have a gun. I don't even have a gun. This is a this is a speed run now. And they tried to flash me. This guy cannot be bothered, but I think this might be a dead end. Yeah. And uh, let's. Oh wow, they're shooting. Okay, that makes sense. And it's uh, it's not this way. Then we go this way again. Oh no, come on. Well, now at least I'm gonna get a gun. Uh, knock his ass out. I got a key and I got a gun. So you come in my way. And I'm about to miss a lot. And then give you a headshot. Whoa. Come on, pretty boy. <clears throat> Oops, I gotta hide now because my health is, is dangerously low. I can't be getting hit by by grenades. Oh wow, that was a nice shot. Another headshot. Oh come on! Okay, I got him. And now I guess I have to go through the crowd. Which is not very Hitman style, but guess what? I failed pretty much already. Oh no, come on! Oh, uh, this was not fair. This was not fair. <laughs> very nice, very nice. Uh, I failed super, super solid. And I guess I'm not gonna restart this. Maybe we can transition into some heavy rain, I guess. And at some point I gotta get off to get ready for the podcast. Because it's in a couple of hours, like uh, two hours, I guess. Yeah, let's go through some heavy rain. Uh, what podcast? Today we're having uh, Ex Mortis on our podcast. Let me show you. Come on. If my keyboard works, yes. And here, yes, on this channel, we're going to have a podcast with Ex Mortis and talk about a beggar's journey. A little bit later today. 
and let's continue on with this. You know what I mean? Hello? Oh. All right, let's go. Let's go. What happened last time? I already forgot. It was, um... Oh yeah, it, it, it's the lady that tried to Minecraft herself with the baby. That was pretty tragic, but it was there was a lot of interaction, man. There was a press X to do random stuff with the baby, move the baby, shake the baby, comfort the baby. It was an excellent, an excellent uh, chapter. And uh, just give me a second. Okay, now we're at some uh, some random place. Let's let's see about what he's thinking. Hey, big ups, uh, React style content. Gotta run, but steady enjoying the content and music. We'll tune in for the least he's alive. I'll do anything to get him out of there. Nice shot for the for the podcast thing. All right, uh, let's continue. Big ups, uh, React style content. Let me see this uh, parking lot. Parking lot ticket in the origami figure leads to this garage. What am I gonna find here? Oh yeah, we did find a, a clue to this parking I lot. I should go talk to the garage guy over there. All right, let's go talk to that guy, fixing the car. Excuse me. Excuse me. Hey! Oh! Ah, sorry. Didn't see you. Uh, what can I do you for? I'd like to get... my car. Hey! You're a pretty patient guy, you are. That car's been there for two years. We took it out for a drive every month and check the tires and batteries. So I can't go like inside? <laughs> okay, I guess I'm just here. gonna stay out here. It's the third floor down. Okay. The service elevator is at the far end of the garage. Oh yeah, I guess Thanks. I can't go inside. Because that's his... Uh, uh, you have yourself a yeah. good one, Chief. Yeah, let's go find the car. There is a car apparently here that we're supposed to pick up. Or we're getting guided to. of cars but which one am I looking for uh, let's look at the ticket oh okay I guess we we got the we got the keys so it was here on the right I think oh no it's out there on, on the left the last one all right we got it Yep, is this one? It's time to look around. Let's check the glove box first. If there's if there's anything, it should be there. Okay, 
Okay. Okay, I guess that's it. You couldn't find anything? Or well, I'm not looking hard enough. Okay. We got the L in the... We got it all twisted. Okay. It's good. Then we can go away. But no, I'm sure he's gonna find something. Your destination is four miles from here. Hey, that's pretty nice. We got an anonymous, mysterious GPS. Okay, let's get it started. We're getting led on a mysterious... Um, Chase or something or search. We don't even know what we're looking for, but apparently his son is gonna be alive if he does it So let's just do it Let's just do it. That's how life works I wonder how long this game is if you take out all of the interactive stuff and you just replace it with a cutscene. If you didn't have to actually do anything. It would probably be like, what, three to four hours maybe? I don't know. Because I haven't really played much of it, but it doesn't seem like it's, uh, it's very long. You have reached your destination. Are you ready to show your courage in order to save your son? Listen carefully. Take the highway and drive against the traffic for five miles. If you haven't reached your destination in five minutes, you will be What? <laughs> uh, if I succeed, gonna, I'll get more. He wants him to ahead. drive against it's traffic. No turning back now. For five minutes. This is just silly, come on. Uh, let's uh, press X to Sean. I'd do anything to save my son. Yeah, this probably wasn't a GPS. Maybe it was like a pre-recorded text to speech type of thing. Yeah, let's let's just do it, man. Let's just I've accept. Got to do it for Sean's sake. If you I die, have no choice. I mean, you're not that great of a character, so you die. We get to play with other guys more. So that lady that was having a nightmare that people were robbing her house. But now there's gonna be a lot of shaking and uh, pressing X to do stuff. Alright, yep, there is! There is! And... okay. I'm ready. I'm ready. You go right. Dodged it. Oh wow, now we're twisting and I failed to do this, but I did this. Oh, terrible. This, I hate this. I hate this. The motion controls... Okay, I was supposed to die with this. I don't know how he didn't die. And I failed to do this as well. Even though I'm, I'm shaking everything. Oh, he crashed! <laughs> yeah, maybe this is a dream as well. It would be awesome if it's a dream. Well, rip. And I guess uh, the sun is gonna die now, huh? Because I failed. And the car blew up. No, this is the bad ending. We're getting the bad ending. Yay! <laughs> what a great scene. And the scene just ended. So if I didn't fail this, and I succeeded, there would have been more. But I'm terrible at, at video games, so there wasn't more. Yeah. Is there any, any mode of this game that doesn't have the motion controls? Where I could just twist the stick and stuff would happen. Maybe if I put it on easy. Yeah. But this is the... 
This is the cringe difficulty. I don't want to be on that difficulty, no matter how bad I am. No cringe difficulty. Alright, this is the lady that was getting robbed in her dream. And we are somewhere. Let's think about something first. Oh yeah, it's oh, the man. girl with the insomnia. I gotta sleep. The atmosphere here is one of concern, as there is still no news of 10-year-old Sean Mars, who disappeared yesterday. A recent report indicates that the police are now treating this yeah, I guess as I can interact with this. By the origami killer. If this information is confirmed, he may still be alive, as the previous victims were all killed. <laughs> is this guy gonna be an asshole? Is he the the David Cage character who's just an asshole for no reason? What can I do for you? Oh yeah, he's an asshole. I'd like a room. For you, anything. Feeling the register. Not only is he an asshole, he's probably a a di a diddler. He's probably a diddler. Uh, he kind of checks out. The profile is the same. Madison Page, 27. Single. How long will you be staying with us, Ms. Page? Is anyone going to be missing you, Ms. Page? Room 201. Last floor, stairs on the right, get in the courtyard. Oh, come on. And I have to get my, my way through the whole thing. Thanks. Interactively. The pleasure was all mine. <laughs> That's for sure. Is he gonna attempt to do something to her? Because she looks like that type of character in a David Cage thing that bad things happen to. From, like, people that are assholes for no reason. Or they're just... That's all their character is like. They're just assholes. Room 201. Stairs on the right. Last floor. 201. Last floor. Maybe I should have gone more... I think there's a staircase here, so it's not that bad. There's somebody here. That obnoxious receptionist better not have a spare key to my room. Oh, yeah, he might. He sweat. might. I mean, he, he's the owner of a motel, so he probably does have a spare key. I mean, that's kind of his his thing. What was it? Two oh something. Room two oh one. Oh, two oh one. On the right, last floor. And there's also a stranger. There's someone there. Sir? Oh, this is uh, this Are is you Ethan. Right? This is Ethan. I'll call an ambulance. No ambulance. You're badly hurt. You need a doctor. Please, just help me to my room. It's number two zero seven. Okay, it's the one that you passed it already. <laughs> Yeah, I like some of the Telltale games as well. I like the the Wolf Among Us. I think was okay, and uh, the Walking Dead. I played some of it. I think is pretty good. Two o five. That should be two o seven. There you go. Have you got the key? Ask him some questions. I'll help him first and ask questions later. Okay. And let's just talk. You're really in bad shape. You should see a doctor. You must have one, maybe two broken ribs. It's not fatal. <laughs> but it's sore as hell. Your head is bleeding. It looks deep. I should disinfect his cuts. Okay, we did the same thing in the, like, two scenes ago, man, with the private eye. 
and then the lady that tried to suicide herself. But now we're gonna do it again because it's interacting with stuff. Let's I should disinfect just just his cuts. Is this gonna work? Did I take the right thing? I'm gonna bring it to him and he's gonna say no. I'm gonna disinfect your wound. No, it this actually might worked. Hurt a little. Oh, Sorry. I did it too fast. Are you okay? All these different types of prompts. And now we have to do it all over again, of course. Okay. I have to be super gentle. There. At least it won't get infected. Thanks. He's in trouble. I can't just walk away and leave him like that. Okay, does he want to talk? Can we get more stuff? Yep. We need to get all of it. Painkiller. Administer in cases of intense pain. Mm. Do not take more than one pill every 24 hours. Okay. Here. Take this. It should do you what some good. It? It's a painkiller. It'll help reduce the pain. The perk. The big perk. It says on the box to take one every 24 hours. I don't think it's a good idea to exceed the dose. Come on, stop popping the pills. Pop it. Not good for you. I wouldn't move around for a few days if I were you. I, I'm gonna take a shower. All right, let me help you. Okay. Let's help him. I'll wait here until you come out. Let me know if you need anything. Talk to me. Okay, that let's let's watch him shower. Out. That's a What's your name? A great idea. Madison. Madison. Are you staying in the hotel? Why can't we talk after no, you come out I of the shower? Just town. don't faint or something. I suffer from chronic insomnia. I seem to only be able to sleep in motels. Don't ask me why. Whenever I get too exhausted, I uh, <laughs> I come and spend a night here. I'm I'm just passing through. And what else do you do, Madison? Apart from fixing up strangers. I'm a photographer. I take pictures of uh, furniture for fashionable design magazines. And you? I... I'm an architect. Thanks for staying. I feel a lot Was better this now. scene, like, n necessary? And I know it's the two main characters okay. meet, but... It's also just not a going, very then. good scene. Like, the writing, the dialogue is just kind of nothing. By the way, you never told me your name. Ethan. It's like Ethan, Ethan Klein. Be careful, Or oh, like Ethan Ralph. If you would prefer that. Mr. Dagunt. Okay. Oh, and now we play as him. Wow, we see the switcheroo. I'm still in pain, but I gotta keep going. The box. I have to open another origami figure. I don't know why she helped me. I hope she won't tell anyone. Man, I'm thirsty. I don't have much time. I've got to find my son before it's too late. You already failed the task. I mean, I failed the task, but I'm pretty sure the task would have failed. Uh, regardless. Not sure, though. 
Maybe I just messed it up. Okay, let's open another one. Let's see where it leads us this time. Wow, well, are you prepared to suffer? The old power plant. Let's go to the old power plant. And see what secret hides there. At the spooky old power plant. Alright, it's Wednesday now. It's Wednesday. And we're with the, with the cool characters. The people that actually let us kill somebody. The two detectives. Is that the first time? Sorry? They also first have amazing voice somebody. acting. It always does something to you the first time. Then you get used to it. I'm not sure I want to get used to it. And we're staking out a place. That's him. And that's the guy. We're gonna have to wait long. You're Slav Korda? Yeah. What kind of Blake, I'd Florida. like to ask you some questions. Oh my god, he's trying to run Shit, away. Don't just stand there, he's gonna get away! Get Stop him! Oh, I failed this one, come on. This hey, one was, uh, you, was really fast. Hey, oh my god, out. and I failed this again. What? Yeah, I did this one. I'm, I'm terrible at video games. I don't even know why I'm, I'm playing it. And this is as, as... Wow, and I failed this again. Hey, watch it, man! Whoa. As long as it's not shaking, I can, I can get the quick time event right. As long as it's not shaking! And again, oh. man, what the fuck? Uh. We're gonna get fucking toxic. Uh. Hey, man, you fucking watch. developers, David Cage. Wow, that, that was a cool jump. And he didn't fall. Oh. For real? Come on, man, please. Okay. Okay, this is dangerous. Okay, please catch him. Please catch him already. Throw a chicken at him. Okay, we we went through this level. Now I guess I gotta find him. But there might be a fight scene here. Because I mean, where can he be? Okay. So I guess check the corners first. If I'm even able to do that. Uh see Blake. Where the fuck is Blake? Okay. Okay, so he's not here behind the door. I don't really know if it even matters where I aim my gun. Because eventually the guy is just gonna jump out of somewhere, because he is here. Can't not be here. But there's also pretty suspicious places where he could be fighting, and there he is. Oh yeah, I got him! And I even got this one right. 
And this guy, I, I can't shoot. Because he obviously knows something. I need him alive. Other guy maybe was just a wacko. Okay, I need to be 100% focused for this one. This is the biggest gaming moment I've ever had. Now is my time. Yeah. Beat his ass. And I got him. I think that's it. And the partner just appeared out of nowhere. This time it looks like we got our origami killer. Oh no, it's, it's probably not him. It's not just probably, it's not him. Not even probably. But hey, I got an achievement. Achievement makes me feel so satisfied. Bro, look at this. I'm fucking shaking. Okay. It's actually ridiculous how awkward these motion controls are. Mm. Please just wake up. Stop falling asleep. I can't shake anymore. I'm all out of shaking. I'm all done shaking this bacon. Let's see what's around. Let's check the drawers first for some evidence. Oh yeah, we got his inhaler. Okay. Nice, take a big sip. It's delicious, hydrating, refreshing. Kind of choppy. Hmm. Uh, what do we have in these ones? Let's see, maybe some interactive content. Oh yeah, that's the stuff. A badge. I thought it was uh, drugs. But no, that was the other guy who was doing drugs. The other detective. This guy is not actually a detective, just a private eye. And he has a gun as well, that's nice to know. I mean, I assume so. Since we almost got in a in a gunfight when that place was being robbed. I've seen the parents of all the victims. And all I've come up with is this telephone and a box of origami figures. Okay. Well, let's see what's in this folder. Let's do some uh, investigation. Yeah, this is David Cage at his best. The interactivity. Wow, I can take something and look at it. And then put it back down and then continue doing that same thing to other stuff in the same scene that is true interactivity at, at its finest interactive storytelling what they say uh, do we have a press X to Sean of course all we the do. newspapers are talking about Sean Mars the kid who disappeared okay now I interact with this and it's just useless it's just useless. <laughs> Leads to nothing. Uh, what do we have outside? Let's let me examine this window. Hmm. Yes, it is heavy rain outside. Pretty much it is. Then we got a map to where this stuff is possibly happening. I needed the rest. I haven't been sleeping well since the murder started up again. I can't breathe this goddamn humidity. Hope it stops raining soon. This goddamn humidity. Oh, I am enjoying the game in general. It's not like I, I don't like it. I like those movie games, but not, not everything that is in the game should be in the game. And I know they improved in their next games quite, quite a bit in that aspect. Maybe... Maybe except um, Beyond Two Souls, because that game also had a lot of basically worthless gameplay segments just for padding. Uh, but I think Detroit did a good job. Detroit become human. And now apparently Quant Quantic Dream are working on a Star Wars game. So, so that should be something? 
something. And is there something else interactive in this room? I don't think so. And also there's nothing to think about. So I need to improvise. I don't know if he wants to investigate. I don't know. Oh, the, it, it was just somebody coming to the door. Okay. Let's talk to them. And this probably is going to be Ethan. Oh, this is the wrong room. I thought if this was uh, for going outside. Yep, here it is. You said I could contact you if I remembered anything. Oh yeah, it's the girl from the motel room. Can I come in? Sure. Okay, drink, sit down, or coat. Let's Let take, take coat your coat first. That is nice. Yeah, I haven't watched other people play movie games like that, because I usually play them with my friends. And I don't want any spoilers. Want a drink? Yes, glass of water. Like Detroit Please. Become take Human, I played it twice with a couple of different people. And we all discuss on what choices to make and what, uh, where the story is going to go. I didn't really expect to see her again. Wonder what she wants. What did I ask her to do? Should be in the kitchen cupboard. Oh, a glass. Okay. Okay. I got it. There's also a game like this that is called... Uh, it's called Erica, which is basically... Where's the kitchen? There it is. Which is basically an actual movie that is is filmed Should and everything. Should be in the kitchen cupboard. Yeah, is it here? Oh, do you have... Okay. Yeah, um, Erica is basically like a movie thing where you just make... Um, you just make choices. And it's all done in like two to three hours. Or maybe even less. Maybe it's like about 90-ish minutes per playthrough. But you have, you know, branching narratives and stuff like that. Thanks. And when we play those games, we just... Uh, we just pause it when there's a... Uh, when there's an important choice, and then we talk about what choice we should make. I just remembered something. Maybe it's not important, but a letter arrived in the mail the morning Johnny disappeared. A letter? What kind of a letter? It was addressed to Johnny's father. I don't know what was inside it, but he read it and then he left. That's the last time I saw him. And you think there's a connection between that letter and Johnny's death, is that ju You just remembered this you now? You remember anything else about the letter? You don't tell anybody else about well, this? I don't know why, but I kept the envelope. This potential massive lead in the case you didn't tell anybody? For real? Bro. It was mailed in the Carnaby district. Hmm, that is sus. The day before Johnny disappeared. Uh, not particular. Except the address. The address? It was typed with an old typewriter. Could be a lead, you never know. I mean, he has well, an old typewriter. It's literally well, in front of me. Wait, I... I can't just sit around and do nothing while you're out there looking for the man who killed my son. Ever since you came around, I've been thinking, and I... I want to come with you. Help you in your investigation. No, that's not, not how things work. No. The answer is no. If you won't let me help not you... Not how life works. I'm keeping the envelope. <laughs> it's all or nothing. And... I'm sorry, Lauren, but I work alone. How many clues have I you got, I work alone. <laughs> this envelope... It's like a superhero. Maybe you're only linked to the no. killer. I work alone. I understand. It was a stupid idea. Sorry for wasting your time, Mr. Shelby. Wait. You're really something special, Lord. I'll give you that. I'm just a mother. A mother who wants to find out who killed her son. Are we partners? No. And a lot of the times... <sighs> That's how David Cage is gonna write it, so the things that he want to happen is gonna happen anyways.
Just like in Detroit. The, the, the biggest problem in Detroit is that they push this whole narrative of androids being just just exactly as valuable in humans as humans and they're basically the same thing and at some point they start like uh arguing for like android rights and stuff i'm like no no i know it's fiction but also no no that they're not the same and it kind of requires you to buy into that narrative of Android being the same if you want to get the, the actual story out of the game. And if you go in a different direction, things are going to get fucked up. Maybe you better stay in the car. We're partners, remember? Wherever you go, I go. And now we are partners with this lady, I guess, because she just showed up and said, let's be partners or I'm not going to let you do this. Bro, well, let's go. Come to see Gordy Kramer. Kramer? The big wood tycoon from Kramer Construction? No, his son. You think maybe he's the origami killer? No. For now, I just have a few questions that need answers. Security all over the place. I would say Gordy's just a little bit paranoid. Stupid to bring Lord. I don't do partners too well. All that just to get my hands on that stupid old woman. All right, let's explore this party. What a joint! Kramer must be loaded. What do you think he paid for all this shiny crap? Well, well you just said Kramer's he's a big wig tycoon. This guy, it's not this guy. Uh, oh, fine, let's find him. Not gonna be easy to find Gordy behind that big wall of paid gorillas. Paid gorillas? Oh, that's suspect. What if I talk to them? Um, detective. I'm a private detective. I'd like to speak to Gordy Kramer. Gordy hasn't seen anyone. Beat it. Bye. No, they're not. That's not gonna work. Look, I can't just give them money for it. Not gonna work. Well, I guess we gotta sneak around. Maybe from the other side. Maybe I can go outside. Maybe somebody else is gonna get me through. So, did you find Gordy? No. He's upstairs. He's got two goons blocking the way. Oh, maybe go she can distract them. them. Yeah. Go ahead and handle them. Come on. It's gonna work hey, what out. What are you gonna do? Knock him out with a pair of high heels? Leave it to me. Just be ready to go as soon as they leave the stairs. Wait for what? Let's just go. Let's go. She can distract them. Or it's not gonna work. You know it's gonna work. You know it's gonna work. But this is like super random, man. A woman coming to you like obviously trying to distract you like this. <laughs> okay, David Cage. Alright. Oh, you see she fainted. That is bound to distract them. Now that's a that's a fun moment. Okay. Now it's as easy as it is. Unless the game doesn't let me do it. Miss! Miss, are you alright? Hey, wake up!
And I'm through. There we go. Congratulations. Now we just gotta find where they are, and she... Yeah, she still fainted or something. Okay, well anyways, he's gonna be probably up here. <laughs> Mr. Kramer? Shh, this is the best part. <laughs> Let's let him watch the best part first. Let him enjoy his time. My name is Scott Shelby. I'm a private detective. I'm investigating the case of the origami killer. I'd like to ask you a few questions. <laughs> is he on drugs? I mean, hopefully, because this shit is not that funny. You better be on drugs. I'd like to know exactly what happened to little Joseph Brown. Beat it! You hear me? Get the hell out of here! What do you want? Oh, let's go with factual. I don't want to be accusing him of stuff. Little Joseph Brown get in the back of your limousine. That was the last time anybody ever saw him. Now, I know you've been arrested and interrogated until your father made a little phone call and the file was closed. Why I'd is like he having little boys come in his limo? Very Kids suspicious. I just offered to drive him home. The police arrived, I explained the misunderstanding, and I was released. End of story. Nothing to get excited about, right? Man, let's just hit him with a skeptical on this one. I don't know why, but your story just doesn't check out. You're giving me the crap now. Tell me something I can't believe. Very well. I'm the origami killer. I get my victims into my car. I drown them in rainwater. Then I dump them on a wasteland with an origami figure in one hand and an orchid on the chest. I do that because I'm bored, Mr. Shelby. And it's a creative and entertaining way of having fun. Is that good enough for you? Or do you want more? Well, the fake confession this was, was amazing. Over. Get rid of this clown! Oh, and now uh, we gotta hide them? Bro, we know we're getting thrown out anyways, and I gotta fucking shake it instead. Yeah, beat his ass, come on. Alright. Alright, this is going pretty well. Unless I have to shake it, everything's going perfectly fine. Oh, and he pulled out a gun! And I shook it, man. That was so good. Wow. It was truly master of crafted shaking. Alright. Man, I am handling those people their their own asses. It's a dangerous game you're playing, Kramer. Destroyed. Do you know who my father is? We do not he care. He only has to lift one finger and you won't wake up tomorrow morning. Same for you, you're boy. You're the one that should be afraid, Mr. Shelby. Not me. Whoa, I destroyed them, man. And I thought they were gonna beat me up at first. But no. <laughs> and he's back to watching his uh, his chicken cartoon that is amazing. That chicken cartoon is, is pretty good though, the animation is pretty tight. And that's gonna be it for this stream, because it's going on three hours. 
So that's gonna be it, everybody. Welcome. Uh, welcome. Thanks for swinging by and supporting. And I'm gonna see you next time. I'm not gonna play any music or anything, because there's no point. And I'll see you around. Thanks for sticking around for this gameplay shit. And that's it. Alright? Have fun. And uh, come watch the podcast later today. We're doing it with uh, X Mortis. So swing by and support. Alright? See you again. Later. Big ups.